guys. How are you guys all doing today? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Your girl may have had a Jolly Rancher before this stream started. And I bet you can guess the flavor. <laughs> oh my god, my tongue is so red. Oh my gosh. Hey, Mandy, how are you and baby boy doing? We are doing a good, um, we had our 30 week, I'm sorry, our 32 week ultrasound today and a stress test or non-stress test. Um, and everything's doing good. Everything's looking great. My levels are looking great. His levels are looking great. We're doing good. <laughs> uh, so is this a new series not necessarily the hunger games is in a series that's been on my channel for a while by the way if i didn't tell you we're doing the sims 4 hunger games today it meets the bachelor last time we did the bachelorette version where it was eight guys competing for one girl today we're doing the bachelor version where it is eight female sims competing for one male sim so that is what we are doing today uh eshi merle thank you so much for the eight months prime sub curly mile on a three month streak thank you so much eshi i appreciate that and lola girl coming in with a uh a prime oh, no, 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 no. can't tell i can't speak right now coming in with a prime sub for nine months thank you so much little girl i really appreciate that just another reminder if you wanted to subscribe in the past but you don't want to pay for a sub obviously because this is american we're all for. um <laughs> but if you want to sub if you already are paying for amazon prime you can hook your amazon prime account to your twitch account and sub for free every month and Kitsu, thank you so much for getting five subs to, subs to the community and if you received a good sub please 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 tell Kitsu thank you because they are super sweet and they deserve it um yes so i'm gonna go ahead and show you the contestants and then explain a little bit of the rules <sighs> because the rules we always have to explain the rules in the beginning because we don't know who's here witnessing the hunger games for the first time so i do have to go through and explain the challenge so let's go ahead and do that so I'm going to start off showing you the contestants and the women competing for our glorious bachelor's heart. So well, let me go ahead and without further ado and introduce our eight lovely ladies. I'm so embarrassed that my tongue is so red. Oh my god. <clears throat> Starting off we got Eliza Pancakes. Anyone who is anyone who has played The Sims knows exactly who Eliza Pancakes is. She is a staple in The Sims community, and I cannot wait to see. Maybe, you know, I don't think of Eliza as much of a heartthrob, but, you know, maybe she'll throw out there and she'll try and get our man. I'm going to try not to say his name either, but... Maybe she can have a try at getting our man. The next batch or the next bachelorette here is Blair Thatcher. Blair is a sim that is near and dear to my heart personally because she is the one that I use for my 100 baby challenge. So I spent a lot of time with this sim. I love Blair. She's an absolute gorgeous, gorgeous gal. And I adore her. So of course I had to include her. Next, moving on, we have would you guys ever forgive me if i did not throw beautiful dramatic chloe into the mix we had to throw in chloe because well it's chloe <laughs> i almost made her the bachelorette for the last season but it felt like amina made a fit made that fit a little bit better but we have our beautiful beautiful gal chloe here chloe is a flirty sim she's here to give the drama she's here to provide it all maybe she'll be uh, a little downplayed this season who knows though it's all up to her and how she wants to play the game following chloe we have a barbie we have barbie roberts or barbie mattel however you would like to say she She's just another one of those sims for me. I don't know. There's something like, like when I'm adding in fun characters to my world and stuff like that, I love characters that are just a staple, like a splash. Like, you know who they are right away. Like Mr. Clean. I just think he's so funny. I love having Mr. Clean in my game because he's so recognizable. And Barbie is one of those for me. Like Barbie, 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 my girl Barbie. So we'll see if she is the airheaded, flirty version of Barbie that people think she are. 
that people think she is, or if it's the real version of Barbie, which is smart, working, hardworking, not interested in settling down at all kind of a Barbie. <laughs> So next contestant we have now you may not recognize who this character is um, Of course, like I said last time we had scrub daddy and we had mr. Clean in the bachelors So I had to go ahead and add another cleaning Product person though. There is no person's face for this brand um, This is fabuloso now if we know fabuloso has gotten themselves in a little bit of trouble lately, but it's okay we're still gonna take Mrs. Fabuloso here. So, <laughs> because I had Mr. Clean and Scrub Daddy, I had to put in another cleaning product. And this is Miss Fabuloso. So we got Fabuloso in the game today. <laughs> Moving on, we have the beautiful Jessica Rabbit. Like, I don't know if you don't know that this is Jessica Rabbit, but this is Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> And she is here to win the heart of our man. Now, I don't know about you, but I think Jessica Rabbit has a good shot. Jessica Rabbit has a good shot at winning this. I don't know why. I feel very confident for some reason about Jessica Rabbit. I think she's here to, like, bring it. And I just think she's hilarious. So there we go. Moving on. Is it our last? No, it's our, not our last contestant. We have Yzma from Cusco. New groove. Don't ask me why I put Yzma into the game. Don't even ask me why. I just thought that it would be a great time if Yzma won this. Like, can you imagine if Yzma wins The Bachelor? I just, um... I have no, no explanation. But I love Yzma, and I really hope she goes far. But the last contestant, last female contestant that I'm introducing you to you guys today, I just had to throw this person in. Well, could I even call it a person? We got Bone Hilda in the mix today. <laughs> no one should have the immortal trait. Um, but yeah, we got, we got Bone Hilda in the chat today. <laughs> So I think it'll be very interesting to see how this progresses. Um, I think Bone Hilda really is going to uh, to bring an edge to this competition. You know, we also have like like I said last time we had two cleaning kind of people. We had Mr. Clean and Scrub Daddy. So we have Miss Fabuloso and Bone Hilda, who is a maid. So we still have our cleaning people here. So what I would like to see from you guys in the chat is I would like you guys to go ahead and tell me in the chat right now, who of these bachelorettes do you think will be winning our man's heart? Like I said, we have Bone Hilda, we have Yzma, we have Jessica Rabbit, Miss Fabuloso, Barbie Mattel or Barbie Roberts. We have Chloe Wheeler, Blair Thatcher, and Eliza Pancakes. And without further ado, let me go ahead and introduce our bachelor to you. You guys were very upset uh, in The Bachelorette, when this character did not win, um, people were saying it was rigged, that he didn't get a fair chance, that he had this in the bag, um, and you think that, Miss, that Father Winter's downfall may have ruined it for us. So the, the Bachelor for this season is none other than Chad Green. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Oh my god. <coughs> oh, thank you. Um, oh, even more thank you. But we have Chad Green here. I know you guys were upset that he did not win The Bachelor or The Bachelorette because you think that Father Winter had something to do with his demise. So I thought it was only fair. If we bring back the ladies' man himself, and we have Chad here in the chat today, so Chad will get a little bit of redemption, maybe. We'll see. And I, I just know our boy is going to try and bring something here. Once again, I, I think he's got eyes for Jessica Rabbit, but you know what? Him and Bone Hilda, they might have a chance together. They might. 
So let me go ahead and explain the rules to you. <clears throat> Every day in this challenge, there is a death challenge and a risk challenge. Risk challenges come first. So a Sims, these girls will participate in risk challenges. Now, these challenges are just to see um, if we can find a winner and a loser. The loser in the uh, risk challenges will be sent to the pit. The pit is not a fun place. In the pit, you do not have access to anything that can help your needs. You don't have access to sleep, to any food, to the bathrooms, to cleaning necess necessities. You have access to nothing. Sims have to spend usually on average of 10 to 12 hours in the pit. So that much time for a Sim to not take care of any needs at all is really detrimental. Now, um, on average, all the characters will be spending time in the hut together. Now, that is eight Sims share one hut where they have one bed to fight over. They have no fridge or stove, so they cannot access food whenever they want. Three plates of food will be put out a day. It's first come, first serve. So Sims who eat the plates of foods have advantages when going into the death challenges later. <clears throat> Next, we have one bathroom that all the eight Sims have to share. As you can see, there is no privacy uh, between the shower, the toilet, and the sink. Um, and as you can see, my shower is busted, so I will have to fix that. I did not notice that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's a couple amenities in the, in the hut, but nothing much. They have the radio, which they really love having dance party twos. They have the bar to drown away all their sorrows. And there is one couch that Sims can nap upon. Um, if needed so that's a thing and then I said there was a winner <laughs> so the winner to the risk challenge gets access to the winner's hut and as you can already have seen uh, the winner's hut <laughs> is a very romantic place and we have new rules established for the winner's hut the winner's hut I will give them five flirty interactions that I will start uh, what happens is what happens. Now, I'm just now realizing a problem. There is a way that Sims can secure their fate because there are female Sims. If they get pregnant by Chad, um... They have some death immunity now, don't they? So that'll be kind of a little interesting twist. If a Sim can convince Chad to sleep with them and he gets them pregnant, they have a death immunity kind of that entire pregnancy. So that's a little something interesting that will be in the works. I don't know how that's going to play out yet, but we'll see. It could be a strategy of some sorts, basically, is what we're going into here. But without further ado, we're going to get started with the first risk challenge. And we're going to do one that I didn't do the last time because I like to change these up every now and then. So simply what we're going to do is I'm going to have each one of these lovely ladies over here. They're going to make their favorite drink. Now, their favorite drink, <laughs> I will take the cost value of that drink. And that will be what decides... Uh, Who's first and second? The person who makes the most expensive drink is going to be the person that wins that round. The person that makes the least expensive drink is going to be the person that loses this round. So hopefully they are all, um, hopefully they all make different types of drinks. We're gonna have Yzma go first because she's first in the lineup. So Yzma, darling, we would love to see what drink does the wonderful Yzma make? What is Yzma's favorite drink? That is the question I need to know, because I need to see which of these lovely ladies is going to be spending time with Chad. All right, Yzma, what do you got for us? She's thinking about it. She's thinking very hard. Oh, she's got some ice she's adding to it. Shaking that up a little bit, Yzma. All right, what kind of a drink are you serving Chad? Maybe it's not their favorite drink. Maybe it's a drink they would serve Chad. All right, Yzma. <gasps> Yzma with some fancy flame work. Okay, let's go ahead and see what is her drink priced at. Her drink's price value. And I have to stop them from drinking it. No. <gasps> oh, where'd the drink go? There it is. All right, her drink is... Pro oh. 
Yzma's drink is uh, at $12. Her drink is priced at $12. So not the lowest I've ever seen a Sim make a drink. Not the highest either. So we're going to have Bonehilda come next and make her favorite drink. All right, Bonehilda, it is your chance to stamp up to the block. What kind of a drink will, um, will Bonehilda make? Oh, Who do we want boy. here? <laughs> she should have a Kronk make the drinks. Pull the lever, Kronk. <laughs> Bone Hilda, I know. I don't know if you're much of a drinker, Bone Hilda. I never pegged you for really one. So I'm curious to see what kind of drink she makes. Like, what level of quality of a drink can Bone Hilda make here? And she is ready. And okay, so she also, excuse me, she has made a juice on the rocks. Oh, by the way, I didn't say what type of drink Yzma made. Yzma made a flaming zesty salt. That's the drink that Yzma made, valued at $12. The drink Bone Hilda made is a juice on the rocks, valued at $6. I'm sorry to tell you, Bone Hilda, you are currently in last. Yzma is currently sitting pretty over here with the, with the highest drink. So, Bone Hilda, I'm going to have you stand off to the side. And last place so far. Next, we're going to have Miss Fabuloso come on over and make her favorite drink and see what that was priced at. Elsa pulling up for the abduction. No, no abductions. Good Lord. Oh, does Fabuloso have a tramp stamp? <gasps> Miss Fabuloso, I never knew. What is It's so dark. For TikTok. Mm-hmm. But what do we got, Miss Fabula? So I'm very curious to see what she will pull in. What do you got, Fabuloso? Please don't make Fabuloso. If she makes a purple drink, I'll laugh, though. Ooh, it looks like she made the same drink as Yzma, the Flaming Zest. But how much is it priced for? That is the question. $12. So currently the purple girls are tied with each other. So I'm going to have Fabuloso and Yzma sit over here because currently they are tied. Bone Hilda is currently still in last place, though. Jessica Rabbit. Jessica Rabbit, it is your time. And Jessica Rabbit, I really want to know because this girl just screams class, okay? She just screams it. Like, look at that walk. She's confident. She is here. She is ready to show us what she's got. And I personally cannot wait. Oh my gosh, she like whipped that out real quick. Okay, excuse me. Jessica Rabbit made a barley bale. Interesting. She is a little different here. I don't know what a barley bale is. I'm not much of a drinker myself. And I'm 32 weeks pregnant, so I haven't drank a drink in a long time. But I'm serving it's a kind of beer, I'm assuming. Her drink is valued at 18 dollars jessica rabbit takes the spot for the lead drink her with her drink of 18 dollars so jessica you get to go stand over here she's currently oh chad went to work oops all right blair thatcher it is your turn to make your favorite drink now blair here she's had a hundred kids in her past she has done the 100 baby challenge and survived basically so i'm interested to see I'm interested to see what my girl Blair does here. After 100 kids, she brings us... Oh, this looks like the same drink that Jessica Rabbit drank. Interesting. A barley bale valued at $18. You cannot just copy her. Well, great. Now her... <laughs> Now these two are valued at the same. Jessica Rabbit and Blair are valued at the same drink. Great. Barbie. Barbie, my girl. You are next. And I need to see what Barbie Roberts does over here because it's Barbie Roberts, right? Yeah. No, Barbie doll. My bad. I called her Barbie doll. Barbie, what kind of a drink do you make? Now, Barbie, I don't know if she has many skills. I haven't checked her sim or what sims have skills and what sims don't. But I'm curious, oh, she's thinking expensive taste. That's what Barbie is thinking right now. She's like, expensive taste, neon lights. These are the things Barbie thinks of when she's making a drink, I guess. Hmm. Barbie, please make something different. I want Barbie to make something different too. I like it when they all bring a different spice. It looks like she is mixing something up here. Maybe some lemonade. And she has, oh, it literally looks like lemonade. What do we got, Barbie? 
we have a wet wrench. All right, I don't know what that is necessarily, but let's check the value. <sighs> Valued at $10, Barbie. Barbie, I'm sorry, honey, you're not last, but you're not the best either. Bone Hilda is still in last place over here. Bone Hilda, I'm sorry, honey. She's already looking out the window. She's accepting her fate. She's looking for the pit, like, yep, that's where I'm going. All right, next up we have Eliza Pancakes. I feel like Eliza Pancakes is a drinker. I feel like she's a wine girl. I really hope she, she puts out some wine. I just kind of feel like that's what Eliza would do. I don't know why. I just feel like, to me, Eliza seems like she would drink some wine when she gets home. So I really hope she she puts out some wine, personally. <laughs> oh, okay. She just poured some real quick. She didn't give me any time. She poured out a... What is this? What is this? Eliza, tell me. What is this? Well, it's valued at $20, so it's the lead, but she's not telling me what it is. I want to know what it is. What is it? It won't tell me what the drink is, but it's it's the next highest. Of these girls were 18. Eliza is the new first. And last up, we'll have Chloe Wheeler. Now, Chloe, you either have the shot for first place or you have the shot for last place. So I'm going to let you decide what you are going to do with this, Chloe. We have a lot of people who really want you to win here. So uh, give us a little sum sum here. What are you doing? <gasps> See, now this is what I thought Eliza was going to do. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so... <laughs> Chloe has pulled out a Von Haunt Estate Merlot, right? Mallory, 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 I don't know wine, okay, I don't know. I thought that said Merlot, but now I'm questioning it. Um, <laughs> so Chloe, let's check the value of your drink. Her drink is valued at $13. Not first, not last, Chloe, but you know what? You've made your way here. That means Bone Hilda had the drink with the lowest price Valued at only a measly $6. Bone Hilda, I'm sorry to do this to you, sweetheart, but you are going to be sentenced to the pit. It's a tragedy, Bone Hilda. I'm so sorry. But she's going to stay there until about two hours before we put out a plate of food. That way she has a chance to get food still. Um, but she's going to be staying in the pit for the next foreseeable future. Probably a long time. We'll see. Um, but that means our first winner is freaking Eliza Pancakes. Uh, Jessica Rabbit, not looking happy about this. I think Jessica Rabbit really wanted to get her way to Chad first. Um, so I see she's looking a little... She's not happy about it necessarily. But Eliza, honey, I'm glad to see that you are you're stepping in here. So Eliza gets access to the hut first. Let me go ahead and unlock this door and give only Eliza access to open it. Chad can open this side over here. And I forgot Chad still has a job, so I need him to come home and quit that. And, oh, game options. I'm going to turn full autonomy back on so Sims can start taking care of their needs. I like to see right away who starts forming alliances, who goes for Chad, you know, the whole deal. But first things first, I'm going to have Chad and Eliza meet up in the hut because, like I said, Eliza is the winner. So she will get five flirty interactions with Chad that I will start. Now, where she decides to take that relationship is completely up to her. Once I do five flirty interactions, I am live on Twitch. <laughs> Sorry. Allie, I'm also live on Twitch. There's like my TikTok bio. My Twitch name is Hayish Meaty if you're interested in checking me out over there. Oh, all of my appliances are broken. Okay. Let's just fix that. All right, Eliza. And Chad rolling up in a freaking suit. Gotta love it. All right, Eliza, I'm going to be able to give you help here with your first five flirty interactions. Eliza, what you choose to do after this, all up to you. Also, the first death challenge will be at, um, let's go with midnight. So at midnight, we'll have the first Sims death challenge. That means at 10 o'clock, I'll be putting out the plates of food. Or maybe I'll do it at night. At 9 o'clock, I'll be putting out the plates of food. And at, let's say, 7 o'clock, remind me, 7 o'clock in Sims time down here is when Bonehilda will be released from her prison. 
So there you go, guys. Bone Handle will be released then. Eliza is going to start on her flirty interactions with Chad. This is her shot. She won this interaction with Chad. She won this ability to be with him. So she's going to throw out a casual flirt. She's going to compliment his appearance. Now she's going to fly in with a sexy pose here, very sultry pose. See how he likes that. Um, maybe she'll exchange numbers with him. Maybe she'll want to try and text him in the future. He's really vibing with it, though. Also, this room puts out a very flirty aura, so we'll see what happens. And then she will get the final interaction. She will get to first kiss Chad because he is spiced up and ready to go, so... There you go. Uh, Mama Penguin, thank you so much for that prime sub, sweetheart. Oh my gosh, I almost missed the first kiss. My bad. But Eliza, first one in with Chad. Making her way downtown. Walking fast. Because, you know, Eliza's a jogger. <laughs> All right, but now what she chooses to do is no longer of my concern. My hands are off the keyboard. My hands are off the keyboard, so I am not in control of what they do in this moment. And it looks like that first kiss was just enough to, uh, to start an interaction between Chad and Eliza. Um... <laughs> Okay, um, apparently that was a little bit much in this moment. I am also not going to be doing any pregnancy tests. I will not be checking if, the, if she is pregnant or not. Oh my gosh, did she just get an advantage already in this? Because if she's pregnant, she can't pass away. Like, she can't die in a death challenge. So I don't know what this is going to mean for Eliza necessarily. I don't know what to do about this. Maybe I should turn the chance of trying for a baby down. Maybe that should be a 50-50 interaction. <laughs> well, um, all right, Chad and Eliza are enjoying their time in, with, in the hut with each other. Oh, and Chad disappeared. Nope, never mind, he didn't. Uh, let me see if I can just turn down. Because I have a feeling this is going to happen a lot. I don't know if they decided to woohoo or if they decided... I'm going to turn this down to like a 45% chance they get pregnant. I'm going to turn that down. <laughs> because if all the girls start getting pregnant, this challenge is going to be a long time coming. Eliza, for the love of God, please do not be pregnant. I can't have this start already. Okay. And it looks like Chad is already thinking about going back and talking to Eliza. That or Eliza is going to... No, Chad is going to be coming to Eliza. <gasps> He's coming back for another kiss. Oh, I like doing these romantic relationships. It really starts this challenge off with a lot of heat. And I really like this. Chad might be getting them all pregnant. Knowing Chad, he would, though. The Nick Jonas, the Joe Jonas of these guys here, he would get somebody pregnant. And he would try and get all the girls pregnant. And I'm a little upset about that. Oh, my gosh. Make a pregnancy a day. I think I would, but I think I'm going to have to uh, restart my game if I want that to take effect for today. Um, other pregnancy, pregnancy duration. I have it set for only two days. We're going to set it for one, but yeah, I do have to restart my computer if I want that. See, wake up! I don't like this! Chrissy, wake up! It has been so long since I've heard that song. All right. Right away, I got all the girls having a little bit of dance party. Already, it looks like the social, the social interaction between the girls is a lot nicer. Um than the guys because the guys were getting into fights right away oh no hold on pause excuse me i don't know if i re <laughs> if i locked the gate to visitors um oh wait, it looks like it might be but i'm gonna double check um lock for
Let's do it lock for everyone. Because we don't have to have our main girl going out there to swim anymore. And I don't need you guys talking. Oh my gosh, it's Hobo Jesus. He's coming back. Chloe and Miss Fabulosa. I don't need you out here trying to get freaking fruitcake from the guy. So I'm going to need you to head back in here. You don't need to be talking to Nani, okay? Get back in your pens. <laughs> Ladies, you were here for a competition. Bring in the heat. <gasps> Ooh, we've got. No, we're not talking to the neighbors. Yeah, I know you can't get out there. Leap, stop trying to feed them. This is the Hunger Games. Nani, I know you are so sweet. You're so nice. But I need you to just go away. I'm going to need you to just get out of here. Thank you, guys. Sorry. Jessica Rabbit, thank you for sending them on their way. Uh. Oh, I'm sorry, girls. You're right. I forgot to sh fix your shower, too. Hold on. There you go. Shower fixed. <gasps> Are the girls flirting? Was Jessica Rabbit just flirting with Yzma? I actually want to see. I'm curious if anybody has flirty interactions going so far. No, for Yzma. <gasps> Bone Hilda and Blair Flat and Blair Thatcher have a little bit of a romance going. I don't know when they did that. But Blair and Bone Hilda have a little bit of a relationship going on right now, which I think is pretty funny. Uh, as for the rest of the girls, only Eliza has a relationship with Chad right now, and her relationship with Chad is all the way up like best friends and both best things too yeah, Ooh, and chad all the girls are here now chad is in the wing with the other girls so the other girls have a chance to come flirt with him but will they flirt is the question like are they going to come up in here and flirt with him that's what i want to know oops we're gonna go ahead and speed things up i'm gonna keep an eye on any social interactions i see happening between the crew um, as for, uh, emotion-wise, everybody's in the green. Everybody should be still be doing good. Bone Hilda, honey. I feel like she's the odd lady out right now, and it makes me so sad. I really want Bone Hilda to do good in this competition, but she's already in the pit. Like, how am I going to save my girl if she's already in the pit? Bone Hilda, you're going to have to, like, don't let the pit stop you. You're going to have to do better, okay? I love you and I want you to win this. So you need to kind of win this, okay? Fabuloso taking on the same role as the other guys already over here cleaning. And I am seeing some save reminders, so I will go ahead and save. You're right, I do need to save. Eliza comes back from her date and this <laughs> and it's like, guys, guess what happened? Oh my gosh, you're right. Eliza would go brag to the other girls about her flirty relationship with Chad. Maybe he's trying to listen in on the conversation. Eliza's over here trying to get into the heads of the other girls like, y'all don't even try. I already got there. It was super easy. I had my way with him. Oh my God. Bone Hilda is a scrapper. I think she's going to make it. I hope she does. I want Bone Hilda to be here. Jessica Rabbit already sitting and waiting for those plates to be served. Blair also sitting and waiting for that food to appear on the counter. Eve, our purple girls are maybe are forming an alone. Chloe, where is your clothes? Chloe? Why do I not expect anything different from Chloe? I expect nothing different from Chloe. This is exactly what Chloe does. Why is she doing this right now is the question I, I'm not 100% certain about. As to why she's doing this, I don't know. But Chloe, if you're trying to get Chad this way, it's quite a strategy, I will say. <laughs> and Chad is over here helping himself to some yogurt, having a good time. Eliza, even though she's the only girl that has access to the hut, she's really not spending a whole lot of time in the hut with Chad. She's choosing to instead go make herself a drink at the bar. Oh, no, she's cleaning the bar. There are a lot of women that like to clean in this challenge, and that was not planned. It was not. <laughs> 
Chloe, we gotta put some clothes on. And meanwhile, Fabuloso, those are some great dance moves. Also, what is glitching with your skirt? Chloe, you're not... <sighs> Chloe? Ooh, Chad's in the room! Maybe it is... <gasps> oh, but Jessica Rabbit's like, look, I don't even need to be... <laughs> I can still wear clothes and show off. You know? <laughs> Chloe, please. <laughs> Chloe's a free spirit. I want to know why she is doing this, though. Like, Jessica Rabbit, for the love of God. Um, as far as time goes, I don't think this is quite enough time. I don't think 12 hours is enough time. Because as for everybody's needs, everybody's needs are still fairly in the green. So I'm going to push things back a little bit. 12 hours is not enough time in Sims time to really get those needs down there. And that's what I want. I want the needs to be very low. And for the most part, everybody's still in the green. Yzma, where do you go? Yzma, why'd you go in the rock? Uh, but Bone Hilda, she's only in the orange and yellow for bladder and hunger. So I'm going to let time go a little bit longer. Maybe I'll get her, I'll get food rolling at two. Maybe that's a better time. Maybe 14 hours. Something better. Chad, what are you doing? Oh, 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 oh my god! Okay, it's working, it's working. He's asking Chloe what the heck's going on right now. They're talking about grilled cheeses. A great conversation. <laughs> maybe it finally worked. Uh, maybe it's working for her. Is the decay for needs up? No, I did put it back the last time and it shouldn't have changed by itself. Chloe, I guess that's one way to get his attention. Oh, now she's playing bashful. She's like, I went swimming and I lost my swimsuit. I don't know what happened. And he's like, yeah, I gotta go to the bathroom. See ya. Chloe, where are you going? Are you following? Are you following him? Oh, no, she's not following him. Oh, no, she's heading to the bush. Maybe it's for the best if you go, like, chill out in the bush. I don't know what you're doing, Chloe, but I'm a little concerned. All right, Bone Hilda. Bone Hilda's about to pee herself. So that's nice. And, oops, I didn't mean to hit the calendar, my bad. It looks like Yzma. Yzma may have taken advantage of the bed. Oh, wait, no, this is her swimwear. That's Yzma's swimwear, my bad. So Yzma must have just gone swimming. <laughs> she said, I'm going to use my assets. <laughs> oh, Yzma. I thought this was her sleepwear, and I'm like, oh, yeah, this is her bedwear. No, Chloe, don't sleep in the bed like that. Don't go in the bed like that. No, that's not sanitary. Chloe. <laughs> Chloe, other women have to sleep there. I mean, maybe this is Chloe's strategy <laughs> to not get the other women to sleep in these rooms. She's like, no. Mm -mm. This is not how it's going down. Uh, in the meantime, Chad, buddy, if I could just have you come over here and prepare, prepare a meal... Um, for me to put out the plates because I'm going to be putting food out pretty soon for the girls. Um, let's do a tortilla wrap. Wait, no, that's sorry. That's one. <laughs> I want a meal. I least need a, a four meal dish. Chad can take his own bowl and go on. Let's do a superfood salad. That sounds great. So, Chad, can you go ahead and make that for us so I can start getting that ready to go for the girls? Thank you. Jessica Rabbit, once again, the girls still over here having a good time. I gotta put something else in here. Something else to spark the drama. I don't know. Um, it looks like Fabuloso has taken the bed, which is ticking off both Eliza and Chloe as they just stare at her in her sleep. But Fabuloso uh could not be more oops oh gosh fabuloso could not be more unbothered fabuloso is having a good time sleeping right now she's she is enjoying herself barbie over here looking good barbie looks good i ain't gonna lie freaking barbie okay uh and bone hilda has officially peed her pants so that's nice chad how's that meal going so i can get those plates down for everybody oh Still the fire damage over here. I do need to get rid of that, don't I? 
But Eliza Pancakes has access to food whenever she wants. And she looks like she just ate something at the other house not that long ago. And it looks like she is going to go to sleep over on that bed. So Eliza is taking good care of herself right now. Not going to lie. Um, but Bone Hilda, I'm going to go ahead and let you out now. Bone Hilda can go ahead and start working on her needs. As you can see, Bone Hilda is pretty dirty. Uh, she is pretty low on hunger, on energy, and on uh, general hygiene. So she might go ahead and take care of that now. While Chad is just about to finish up, I'm going to be putting this food out at 2 p.m. or 2 a.m. here. Um, I'm only going to be putting out three plates and between eight women, first come, first served. If they don't eat, that's not my fault. And I don't, Chad, okay, that's enough showing off. Please finish making the dish. Thank you. All right, and I'm gonna need you to put that down, grab another serving, and put that down, and grab another serving, and put that down. And now you can grab a serving for yourself. All right, so I got my three bowls over here that I'm gonna be dishing out to the girls whenever they're ready. Chad's gonna go ahead and take care of his own hunger. Bone Hilda looks like the, oh, when Bone Hilda showers, you get to see her human form. So this is Bone Hilda when she's, uh, when she's not a skeleton. If you didn't know, Bone Hilda is just a regular sim, but she has that skeleton uh, outfit on. So this is Bone Hilda without, you know, the bones, or well, I guess with the bones, with, with the skin also. And I don't know why my sins shower in a dress. I don't know, that's just what they do. They're they're like that, okay? <laughs> so maybe Chad will get to see the uh, the wonders that Bone Hilda actually is. So maybe he doesn't know that Bone Hilda is secretly a very lovely lady. She's a very beautiful lady. Right now, Chad just thinks she's a bag of bones. Um, so, <laughs> Maybe it'll be like a Fiona story with like Shrek where she'll eventually see how beautiful Bonehill is. All right, and it's two o'clock. I'm going to go ahead and put this plate of food out. I don't pay attention to who is near the food or what is going on. I just put the food out at the times that I say I'll put the food out. And like I said, it's first come, first serve. So I have the game paused right now. And I'm going to stop the timer and then they have till four o'clock. At 4 a.m., we will go ahead and start the death challenge. If no one eats the food, no one gets the food. And they'll all have a little bit of a disadvantage going in. So let's see. Chloe, you still need to put some clothes on. But Chloe's coming in, and Chloe's going to be the first to grab a plate of food. So good for Chloe. She snagged that food up. Looks like Bone Hilda might grab a plate. Maybe Isma. Ladies, grab the food. If you, okay, and Bone Hilda, grab that second bowl. Bone Hilda is here to make sure she's good. And Isma got the last plate of food. That means uh, Fabuloso, Blair, Barbie, Jessica Rabbit, they all missed their chance to grab a plate of food. Eliza's not too affected because Eliza can get food whenever she wants. But it looks like Jessica Rabbit is awfully tired over here. He's pretty darn tired. <laughs> So that may play a role in the death challenge here in a second. And uh, it'll be about death challenge time here at 4 o'clock. So we'll get into the first one then. Ugh. The queen is never late. <laughs> and without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into the very first death challenge. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and turn off autonomy for the Sims. That way they don't do anything that I don't want them to do. So I'm turning off their free will. And I'm gonna have all the gals gather up for the first of the death challenge. Now there are certain ones that are easier for me to do. They're a staple just because it's easy for me to gather everybody up and do these. So I'm gonna for have them form a group and we're gonna meet out over here by the shark pit. Yes, you heard me, the shark pit. And those of you who have seen me do this before may know what's about to happen here. For those of you who are new, this shark pit is not a mod. It does come in the game. You just have to have the Get Famous pack to access this. This is called the Exotic Water Garden from the Get Famous pack. And you can add sharks, piranhas, sprites, koi fish, um, some other kind of fish, I forget, uh, to this thing. 
So the, what happens with this challenge is I'm going to have each sim go down the line as they are marked off in these rows here. That's what, how I do this. So Yzma, my darling, you're going to be the first one. And she is going to go ahead and jump into the shark pit. Now, will she come up safely is the question. I don't know. But let's see. Is Yzma going to make it up? Yzma makes it up. She is first and she is safe. Next up is Bone Hilda. Bone Hilda, you may go ahead and take a jump. Don't be shy. We'll see what happens here. How's Bone Hilda doing? And Bone Hilda makes it. She's feeling confident. She's feeling good about herself. Fabuloso, you are up. It is your turn to jump into the <laughs> into the shark pit. For those of you watching on TikTok, if you'd like to see the game in the best quality possible and be able to see full screen, be able to hear the game audio, no, Fabuloso! No, Lady Fabuloso! Oh, no, she's not going to make it. By the way, I'm on Twitch for those of you watching on TikTok. There's a link in my TikTok bio if you'd like to see this tragedy in the best quality possible and see my very sad face. Please go check me out on Twitch at HeyishMandy. Thank you. As we continue to watch the demise of Fabuloso. Fabuloso is swimming with the sharks. And Blair and her booty is here to, to, to cry about it. And all the girls are, Chloe, for the love of God, put some clothes on. That's right, ladies. Oh, and Chad is just coming out to see the end of Fabuloso. She didn't even get a chance. She didn't get a chance, Fabuloso. Look at all these sad ladies. Barbie standing off over here. Even Chad's crying. Poor Chad. He really wanted to have a chance. Oh, my gosh. As long as it isn't Jessica or Chloe. Grim, nice to see you're here. Thank you so much for showing up in our time of need. Uh, what did I name the sharks last time? I named them um, Chomp. I know one was Chomp. Snap, bite, and Chomp. I think that's what I called them. Snap, bite, Chomp. I don't remember. Good, ha good day, boys. Thank you so much for your work. Thank you, Grim. All right, and I'm gonna get rid of all the sad emotes because we don't need any more. It's not like we cared about any of the people we lost. It's fine. We are not going to be terrified of death. We're all doing great. All right, so because I don't want any more uh, tragedy on my hand, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead now the girls made it through the first challenge, so I'm going to go ahead and reset the needs of this household. Fill their needs. And now we will start with the next risk challenge. Because, yeah, it happens that fast. So we have death challenge, and then they have to go and fight for their lives again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I won 24 bush bugs. <laughs> Chomp, snap, and bite. That's what I thought. I thought I named them. All right, anyways, so they don't completely mourn her grave all the time. I'm going to go ahead and put Miss Fabuloso under here. Fabuloso Cleaner, I'm so sorry to see you go. I really kind of wanted you to go farther, but I guess, you know, the cleaning products aren't... You know, she is in a little bit of trouble, so she's like, I'm going to take myself out first. It's, it's reconciliation for the things I've done, because I heard Fabuloso's in a little bit of trouble lately for some sort of product in their stuff i don't know oh uh, let me see on my risk challenge list what do we want to do let's do we didn't do this one last time let's go ahead and do this one this time for the uh risk challenge this time we're going to be having the girls compete in a, in a friendly chess competition so let's go ahead and do this Oh gosh. Two, three, four. Said that's too many. That's two, four, six. 
We only have eight sims that can compete right now. So let's get them set up. All right, so I'm gonna have the Sims just compete with each other as they're lined up. So we're gonna have Yzma against Bone Hilda, Jessica Rabbit against Blair. So we're gonna have her play with, apparently Bone Hilda is not listed. Play with Yzma. We'll have Jessica Rabbit play with Blair Thatcher. And we'll have Barbie play with Eliza Pancakes, and then Chloe will play the winner, and so on and so forth. Who did I say she's playing? <laughs> Eliza Pancakes, there. All right, ladies, everybody meet up. Chloe, okay, if Chloe, if you don't have clothes on, okay, I'm gonna tell you to put clothes on. I'm sorry, I don't know why you are still like this, but you're gonna have to put some clothes on for this part of it. I can't have you go this entire night like this. All right, so I'm going to pay close attention, and we'll see how all these ladies do. Chloe will play the winner of that round. We'll have the losers play against the losers, and the winners play against the winners until I have a winner, and I have a loser. <laughs> and see, Willis has redeemed a stretch, so everybody take a chance to stretch it out while we wait for these ladies to finish their games. I gotta pay attention to the emotes or the, their moodlets because I think the moodlets will tell me who wins their games and loses their games. Okay. Let me see. Did Yzma and Bone Hilda finish a game? Yzma. Yzma won the game with Bone Hilda. Yzma has the moodlet of chess victor from winning a chess match. So Bone Hilda is our first loser and Yzma is our first winner. So I will have Bone Hilda go stand over here. That means these guys should be about to finish their games. Yes, Barbie and Eliza have finished. And Eliza won her game. So we're gonna have her go play Yzma. We're gonna have Bone Hilda come play Barbie cause they are losers. And then Jessica Rabbit and Blair are about to win and lose their games. And then I'll have Chloe play one of these girls here. Are they done? Yep, and Jessica Rabbit and Blair are done with their game, and it looks like Blair won her game, so she's going to go ahead and play Chloe. Play Chloe, and Jessica Rabbit, you were going to sit out and wait for the next loser, honey. I'm sorry. Play with Chloe. All right, now I wait to see who gets the next games. I know chess is so riveting. I can't even like call out what's going on. Looks like Eliza's doing pretty good, or Yzma's doing pretty good against Eliza. I will say when the risk challenge is over. Oh gosh. Gotta pay attention to these games so I know when they're finished. At least they're getting friendship. Like, when they play with this together, they do gain friendship, which is interesting. Oh, and Barbie and Bone Hilda have finished their game. And Barbie is the winner in this situation. So Barbie will be moving. Wait, no. Barbie lost that one time. That's why Barbie and Bone Hilda had to play against each other. That didn't work. So, Barbie, you're going here. You are safe. Bone Hilda will now play Jessica Rabbit to see who's going to be going to the pit here soon. Bone Hilda, I'm really hoping that you don't have to go to the pit. I'm just saying, like, you don't want to spend two times in the pit. 
All right, let's see. Between Blair and Chloe, I need to see. Oh, wait. Eliza and uh, Ismay are done. All right, so Chess Victor. Chess Victor. And Isma won that one because her emote has refreshed itself. So it's the emote only lasts for four hours. Isma's has refreshed itself to four hours versus Eliza's old win is saying that it expires in three hours so eliza did not win this one eliza you are safe though and yzma will play the winner between blair and chloe here to see who is going to be getting the hut so we're going to wait for them to finish their game yzma is doing really good at chess like surprisingly she's done very well but we'll be moving on this is the losers table the winners table and the medium players table Oh, and they're done. And between Chloe and Blair, it looks like Chloe won that round. So Blair, congrats. You are safe because you did not lose any. Wait, no. No, Blair. Did Blair win a round? She won a round, didn't she? Yeah, Blair won a round, so she's safe. She doesn't have to make it to the pit. It's only for those who haven't won a round. So Blair is safe, and Chloe will go on to play Yzma to see who is going to the winner's hut. Because these are the only two who have not lost a game yet. And it's between these two to see who goes to the pit. So, Jessica. I don't want Jessica or Von Hilder to go to the pit. That makes me sad. Oh, and Barbie, wait. Yeah, Barbie won a game too, so she's good. She can go over here where it's safe. Sorry, my mind, it's pregnancy brain, you know, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard for me to remember things, even though they just happened. Pregnancy brain's rough, okay? Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous for Bone Hilda. I don't want her to go into the pit again, but I love Jessica Rabbit, and I really want Jessica Rabbit to win this too. <gasps> All right, here it is. Jessica Rabbit won the game. She has a chess victory, which means Jessica Rabbit is safe. And Bone Hilda is once again being set to the pit. Bone Hilda, honey, I'm so sorry to do this to you. It's not fair. I know, I know, sweetheart. I am so sorry to tell you to go there. You gotta stand up. Okay, stand up here. And I'm sorry, Bone Hilda. But you have to go back down to the pit. I'm sorry, honey. And let's see, how is this game going over here? They're still playing, so we're playing for the winner here. Is Yzma going to get the winner's hut or is Chloe going to get the winner's hut? That is the question here today. Game's over, let's see who won. Oh. Yzma won, Yzma won every single game. Yzma's email has been reset to every to four hours and Chloe's is still at three, which means Chloe's did not reset, meaning Yzma was the winner of this game. Yzma, congratulations, honey. You get the prize of Chad Green, sweetheart. You get to go to the winner's hut. Oh, Yzma, honey, who knew? So now Eliza no longer has access to the winner's hut. It is now Yzma who has an entrance to the winner's hut. So Yzma and Chad head on over here. I'm going to go ahead and turn a full autonomy back on. And so we decided like what, 12, 15 hours was the better time for emotes or moods to go down. So let's see what that puts us at. Oh, if it's nine o'clock now. <laughs> Until nine, nine. Oh, God! No, God, please, no, no. Oh, God, what no. does that put us at? No. <laughs> Wait, you don't want Yzma in there? What time? Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I'm pregnant, and I'm really bad at math. Uh, Okay, so 15 hours from now, that puts us at 10, 11, 12. 12? 
12 o'clock, midnight, is when we'll take Bonehilda out of the pit. Midnight, we'll take Bonehilda out of the pit. Okay, midnight, we'll take Bonehilda out of the pit. Not the upcoming midnight, but AM midnight. <laughs> so at 12 AM, we'll be taking Bonehilda out of the pit. And at two, we will be putting uh, food out. And then at four, again, death challenge. So we're gonna have them come on over here, Yzma. <laughs> it's time for Yzma to put the charm on Chad, okay? My neighbor's name is Chad Green and he does not look like that. That's so funny. Oh, and Yzma even has her swimsuit on to help her with the seduction of Chad. I'm also gonna go ahead and save really quick since we did do the wrist challenge and everything's set up. So we're gonna go ahead and save real quick. Uh, so Yzma is going to get her flirt on, or her, her date, you know, that kind of specifications. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, well, let's see how Yzma flirts. Let's see. She's feeling pretty confident about herself right now, and Chad is in a flirty mood. So I don't know how this could go bad. So Yzma, let's go ahead and start you off with a flirt interaction. Looks like she is wasting no time. Let's do a flirt and a compliment appearance just to set the ground rules, just to set a little bit of the spice. Maybe then after that, she will try, you know, kissing his hands, seeing how that does. He seems to be into it. He seems to be down, a little distracted and on his phone, but otherwise, I think he's here for it, and then it will give him a sexy pose too. Uh, he took the hand kiss, and now Yzma is really putting... Get it, Yzma! Look at them legs, Yzma! You show off what you have for him! Oh, Yzma! <laughs> oh, how could he resist? How could you resist that face? I mean, tell me how. How could you resist... All of this, Yzma. <laughs> we are doing the Hunger Games meets Bachelorette. All right, and so wait, how many flirty interactions was that? Was that, she did a flirt, she did a combo appearance, she did kiss his hands, now she's doing a sexy pose. So she gets one more flirty interaction uh, through me, and then whatever flirty interaction they decide to do after that is up to them. So she gets one more flirty interaction led by me. And I'm gonna give her the first kiss option because I gave that to Eliza. So we're gonna give her the first kiss option. Looks like Chad is having a little conversation with her of his own in between then. Talking about cupcakes and stuff, I don't know. But Yzma and Chad are having their first kiss. And now my hands are off the controller. I am no longer in control of this social interaction between them. What they choose to do at this point. Oh, um. Chad, I'm sorry, I forgot to have you quit your job. But it looks like Yzma is not interested in continuing that flame. So Eliza Pancakes or Chad, one of them took the into their own hands and uh and woohooed all on their own accord but isma is not interested she left the conversation she said that's all i needed she's like leave them wanting more leave them wanting more that's what Isma's strategy is she wants to give him a kiss get in his head and then leave it simmer so maybe chad will come back to her who knows maybe that maybe that little that little thought will get into his head and he'll think of isma this night <laughs> oh gosh what pack is that toilet from that is from get famous this uh bathroom set is from get famous fabuloso is the first to go eshi fabuloso's down she said hard to look at no hard to get <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, and he went in and kissed Eliza. He went in and gave Eliza a little kiss in front of all the rest of the girls, including Yzma, and left. Yzma, honey, your plan failed. You got that man all riled up, and he went straight into the arms of Eliza. 
Honey, you played yourself. You played yourself. I hate to say it, Yzma, but you did. You played yourself a little bit. Um, yeah, sure. She can like video gaming. Oh, Yzma. Oh, Yzma. Chloe, it's nice to see you still have clothes on. You're not streaking right now. That's very refreshing. Very refreshing to see that. What is Chad off to? Chad is off to go work out on the treadmill. So, will any of the women maybe go work out with Chad and his prowess? He seems to be having a hard time walking. Interesting. Oh, there's an alien. Let me get rid of that. There we go. Bone Hilda, darling, how are you in the pit? Are you doing okay? Is there any problems? New to the stream, but oh my god, he's my <laughs> Jenner, welcome! <laughs> Oh, he'll never be satisfied. What are you complaining about? You gotta swim through here? <gasps> oh! You know who is out to get Chad over here? So Chad's coming over, he's swimming over here to come work out on the treadmill, but you know who's here to show him how freaking obsessed she is with working out as well? Barbie! Barbie's here to gun it. She's here to show Chad exactly what she's made of. And meanwhile, I'm, well, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pause. Break out the candles, make it romantic. Blair is about to woohoo with Eliza for the first time. <gasps> Eliza and Blair. They are woohooing in the hot tub right now. Oh, there they are. The snails. Eliza, you heart. <laughs> no, you too. Are you kidding me? Girls. Blair and oh, and Eliza's teeth posing. Oh, oh, now they're coming back. Oh, nope, now they're leaving. <laughs> Luke Hemming, thank you so much for coming as well. Uh, Eliza said, watch me play this game. Eliza, she's woohooed with Chad and, and Blair. She's popping back in for more. And now, pl I, I had no idea that Eliza had a spicy side. Why do my Sims not know how to walk right now? Like, what is the problem with this? My Sims are having the hardest time. What is happening to my Sims? They don't know how to walk. They're losing their darn minds over here. Like, look at Blair. You can't tell me she doesn't. Blair. Now, Eliza's doing it too. What is happening to my Sims? They're both walking crazy. They're walking like chickens with their heads cut off. What is happening? Well, don't complain about your walk style being trash. That's your fault. And Eliza is over here by the campfire, just having a good time. Chad is over here. Oh no, Eliza. Don't you dare swoop in. <gasps> no, she's going after Barbie next. She's trying to get Barbie out of the area. She's going after Barbie next. Blair said, after I had 100 babies, I'm giving up men. I'm here for the ladies. Oh, my God. Oh, and we got somebody's glitching out in the Matrix. What is happening to my game? I don't understand. That or it's a light show. No, it's Bone Hilda. <laughs> Blair and Chad are flirting. Blair is flirting to, to Chad from the water. <gasps> oh, look at Blair. She is not new to the flirting game. She's like, I have tricked a hundred men into sleeping with me. You think I can't get this man? Look at her. Flirting at him from the water. From the water. She's like, come on in. The water is fine. <laughs> These ladies, they're so much more interesting than the guys were. Like, they're here to flirt. They're here to put on the moves. He's getting her number right now. Like, she's here to put down. And I'm here for it. Like, look, he's still, he's into it, too. He is into it. He's flirting right back. I kind of can't wait to see if they do anything with this. But Barbie's still kicking it. She is still over here warming up, trying to show off for Chad. Um. Oh, I need to delete all these, don't I? <laughs> Oops. Ladies, I guess you can continue to play chess. That's fine. You do what you do. We got Eliza over here cleaning up the table. We got Yzma busting a move over here. Um, But Chad is coming over to talk to Yzma. Ooh. 
Ooh, what's Chad gonna talk to Yzma about? What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Did the bug in it, did the bug that Yzma placed in his brain work? <gasps> Is he like, you like drinks? Do you wanna go out and get drinks sometime? And Yzma and her dancing wiles. She did, she put that little bug in his head. She gave him a kiss and she walked away and she said, you'll want me later. And he did, he came up and he had a conversation with her and Yzma once again snubbing him. She just snubbed him right off. But you know what? Maybe that's still part of her game. Maybe this is still part of her tragedy. She wants to get him all, all wild up and, uh, and, and come after him that way. I don't know her plan. I don't, I don't know what, Bonhilda, stop breaking things in the background. You need to cut it out. I know you're in the pit. I know you're not happy with it, but it's not my fault. You ended up here twice. You make your own decisions, Bonehilda. I can't help you. Need to be better at chess, maybe. Guys, get off the chess tables. I didn't mean for them to still be here. No, Chad, get off. I want to delete that one. Go, go, go. I, didn't, I, meant to I meant to destroy these. Oh, my God, Eliza. There. Everybody's out here playing chess. <laughs> she said, watch these move, baby. <laughs> Bonehilda is still causing trouble in the background over here. Now Chad is singing. Why is Chad singing? Anything else going on? Any strategies? Ooh, is Chad out here flirting? Oh, look at all these girls trying to put the flirt on. Blair, Eliza, Chloe, they're all trying to tag team Chad right now. They're all vying for his attention. They're fighting for it. They're, har they're starving for the attention right now. Ooh, and Jessica Rabbit is here now too. Oh, she is putting on the flirt. She's putting on the flirt. You see that body language? She is here for it. Oh, but they're talking about ants. And she said, no, I don't have ants. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, gosh. And, but nope, Chad is going to leave the interaction because he needs uh, he needs food. So he's done with this. Is Blair and Eliza going to go have a good time dancing over here? Looks like it. Looks like they are starting to get a little hungry. Not too bad. But we're still going to hold out till midnight. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit, see what happens. Looks like Yzma is taking full advantage of that winner's hut right now and making herself a little bit of a meal. Looks like she's making herself some mac and cheese. So Yzma taking care of her needs while she's here. She's gone to the bathroom not too long ago. Her hunger's up. Her sleep is still doing okay. So she's doing good for herself. And it looks like Jessica Rabbit was sad about her chess skills. So she's working on those as well right now. I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> when are you doing Not So Very again? Um, I, uh, I left it up to the Discord what they wanted to see tonight. And Discord voted that they wanted to see the Hunger Games. Um, but Not So Very was second. <laughs> so I do plan on playing Not So Very again as soon as I finish the Hunger Games. Usually the Hunger Games take two episodes. So... We won't see the winner tonight, probably most likely at all. Um, so tomorrow I'll play the Hunger Games again, and we will see who the winner is for the Hunger Games, and then I will go back to the Not So Berry Challenge. Okay, Jessica Rabbit, get it, honey. Oh wait. Oh, Chad is taking some of Isma's cooking. Excuse me, while I destroy that. Chad is over here munching down on Yzma's good cooking. Is this another part of Yzma's plan to get Chad slowly but surely? I am. Hmm. Yzma. I don't know. Maybe she learned some things from Kronk. Maybe she's trying to impress him with her cooking prowess. Oh my god. And then she brought the food over into the other hut to eat in front of the, all the other ladies. Yzma. Yzma, I'm respecting Yzma more and more every play. She is pulling some shenanigans, and I am here for it. I love it. 
For those of you watching on TikTok, I'm also live on Twitch. So if you want to see this full screen, because you can only see a small portion all from my comp from my phone. If you'd like to see the entire screen, be able to hear the game sounds, be able to see my face, and vote on future polls and interactions, you please go ahead and join me on Twitch. My Twitch name is Heyishmady, same as TikTok. There's also a link in my TikTok bio that will take you straight to Twitch if you are interested. Yzma is boss. Yzma, I'm telling you, oh my gosh, and she's even going to clean the di- Oh, never mind. <laughs> I freaking love Yzma. How many plates is left of this? Six? Well, that'll be enough to put out for everybody else here soon. So I'm going to wait till midnight. I'm going to let Bone Hilda out. No, I said two, right? We'll see. We'll see how hungry everybody looks, how, how sad everybody is. I think around two is when I'll let Bone Hilda out. And then at four, I will put, no. At midnight, I let Bone Hilda out. At two, I put the food out. At four, we do the death challenge. That's the that's the time specifications. So I got to keep an eye on the time over here. That way, I don't miss letting Bone Hilda out of the pit at the correct time. <sighs> what next death challenge do I want? Not the spinach puffs. She reminds me of M Madame Zeroni from Holes. Oh my god. <laughs> I haven't seen too many people start taking care of their needs. I have a lot of people that are tired and hungry, and uh, no one's taking advantage of these beds. <gasps> Ooh, we got Chloe and Barbie and Chad having a little bit of a bonfire. Later night, Nani and David, leave. I love you from Lilo and such, and you keep trying to feed my people. Stop that. They don't get food. Um, Nani, David, I love you guys, but you all need to leave. I'm trying to do things. <gasps> Jessica Rabbit took care of that bed and snuck it right out from underneath Eliza Pancake's nose, and she is not happy about that. What's Chad up to? Who's Chad going to talk to? Is What's he doing? Oh, he's going to go dance. <gasps> oh, no, Eliza can sneak in. Blair is now taking advantage of the bed. No one is sleeping in the bush. Yzma, Yzma! <laughs> Yzma. I freaking adore this little scary woman. I love Yzma. I forgot about her sleep mask. I love Yzma so much. <laughs> oh, Yzma. You make my heart so happy. Uh, no, I do not control the Sims for the most part. The only Sim that I can control is Chet. Um, I try not to control the other ladies because I don't want to ruin what they uh, their vibes that they got going on. Uh, it'll only last for three more hours, so I'm going to put it away real quick. Bone Hilda! I'm going to let you out in like two seconds, baby girl. Don't worry. At midnight, I let you out, and... And she pees herself. I'm so sorry you couldn't hold off for like two more seconds so you wouldn't pee yourself. All right, Bone Hilda, but you can get out of the pit. Go ahead and teleport yourself out, honey. There you go. I'm sorry you couldn't hold on to your bladder for two more seconds. You literally were going to get out of the pit the second you peed. So go ahead. You have uh, four hours to take care of any of your needs. I'll be putting food out in two sim hours. And Chad and Yzma, in the meantime are saving and sharing a bed together. And I don't know how Chad wouldn't wake up in the middle of the night and fall in love with that face right there. <laughs> she looks like she snores extra loud. No, that was Kronk. Do the death by meteor? You know what? I think we can try the death by... Well, hold on. We can try the Death by Meteor Challenge. I will try it. I haven't had much success with it. Um, it's been pretty hard for me lately. But oh god, it's time to put food out! Oops, 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 oops. Oops, oops, oops. <laughs> uh, well, here's what we're going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the whole platter out. Let me see. How many servings? There's six servings. But as soon as three, the first three people grab it, I will delete it. I'm going to put the platter out. First three come, first three serve. So they get two sim hours to go grab the food. What ladies are going to come taking advantage of this food first? I have the mac and cheese just sitting here. Who is going to come and get it? Anybody? I 
Is no one gonna take the food? Ooh, we got Blair! Blair is here! Blair, are you gonna come get the food? I can't be Kids are these soldier getting 10 subs to the community! Thank you, sweetheart. Reminder, if you get received a gifted sub from Kitsune, please, please, please tell them a big old thank you, thank you, thank you in the chat. They deserve it. All right, so Blair took the first plate of food. Um, they only get till 4 o'clock to take food. They only have one more hour to try and eat this. <gasps> Barbie! Barbie gets the second plate, right? Come on, Barbie, snatch it up. You only have an hour. Yes, Barbie gets the other plate. All right, one more. One more play is available. Bone Hilda, you have the chance. Chloe might be running in to grab that plate real quick. Bone Hilda, come on. Bone Hilda. Bone Hilda, I know you're hungry. Bone Hilda. Oh, Chloe's totally got it. Chloe is not missing a meal. She is still going to claim it. Yep, last play. I'm sorry, everybody else. The plate is gone. And now you come to get food. Bone Hilda, I can't help you. You were sitting and staring at it. What am I supposed to do? Bone Hilda, I can't help you. I can't help you with that one. You waited too long. Oh, oh my God, Isma. Her whole sleep outfit. I love it. <laughs> I forgot how we designed her character. She doesn't have her eyelashes. She's got her face mask on. The robe, the heels. I just, I just love her. I love Yzma so much. Oh my gosh. Oh. I can't, I can't stop the Sims. If they don't get the food themselves, I can't help them. They are in control of themselves. I cannot make Sims do <laughs> what they don't want to do. And it is four o'clock. It is time for me to go ahead and set up the next death challenge. So may the odds be ever in these girls' favors. You guys are telling me in the chat, you want me to try the meteor? It's been a minute since I've done it. It's a little complicated because you can only do it at night. So they only have a few hours to do it, but I'm gonna try it. We're gonna see how it works. Like, I mean, I know it works, but like sometimes it's a little complicated. We're gonna use the basic ones because I don't know if they have a better chance of doing whatever, but how many girls do I have? I have seven girls, so I need seven of these. Come on. Let's line up seven. Two, three, oops. Yeah. Is that too close? I'll put a little out one more. No, come on. I like to be all lined up nicely. Four. Five, six, and I need to move a bush over to make a little more room. There. That should be good. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and turn autonomy off. So the Sims no longer have free will. They will only do what I tell them to do. So there we go. Baby boy is not supposed to, Negan, what are you gonna do with your money? <laughs> Thank you so much, honey. Good Lord, what am I gonna do with you? Negan. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. I really appreciate it. I promise. As soon as this baby shower is over, I'm going to be putting all of that money to good, good use and getting him everything that he needs left. So thank you so much. I appreciate that. Any tips go straight to baby fund. Um, just because that's my most important thing right now. So thank you so much, Negan. I appreciate it. <laughs>
Next time, just hold shift down if you want to place multiple objects. I always forget that tip. Thank you for that reminder. I always forget it. Dang it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and save now just in case. Also, let my game give it time to catch up to itself. Um, he who, yes, I'm pregnant currently. For those of you that are new and didn't know, I'm 32 weeks pregnant. So if you hear us talking about baby boy or people asking me about baby, um, that's me. <laughs> I'm currently 32 weeks pregnant. <sighs> Out of 40, we got eight weeks left to go. Pretty exciting stuff. Maybe not even eight weeks. He might come beforehand. All right, so let's have the girls line up. And so they all have to be moon. Wait, hold on, I'm sorry. I want them all to stand in front of their different telescopes first, and I would like to tell them to do the interaction all at the same time. That way I know that they all make it there at the correct times and that no one is on it longer than the other person. So let me go ahead and call all the ladies over. Canceling any other interactions that they have. That way I know they are all headed on over. There we go. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Oh, honey, I love how you put your dress on. Got a lot of tired ladies, too. I'm so sorry, honeys. Um, I will increase anyone's mood only enough to be able to have them do the task that I need them to do. So we'll start by them all moon gazing. No, not admire new possession. Moon gaze. All right, ladies, you may get started moon gazing. May the odds be ever in your favor. Eliza Pancake, snap into it, girl. Come on, get on that thing. And I'm gonna teach, keep telling them to moon gaze. Now, if they are in path for a meteor to hit them, I will not tell them to get out of the way. I will tell them to continue to moon gaze because that's how you get the meteor to hit you. So if they say a meteor is in line for them, First come, first serve. If two sims have a meteor coming for them at the same time, I will only let the sim who the notification popped up first for be the one that gets hit. Because I only have one sim die at a time. Otherwise, this challenge ends pretty freaking fast. <laughs> All right, ladies. You're doing great work. Anybody spotting a meteor yet? Bone Hilda, you look pretty sus over there. You look pretty sus. Make sure you all are staying working here. Who do we think is going to get hit? Who do we think is going down today, guys? Oh, 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 Eliza Pancakes? No, 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 no. Get back on there. <gasps> Dang it. Oh, she's too uncomfortable. All right, I'm increasing Eliza's interaction just enough to get her to moon gaze again. So, if their interactions go too low where they can't do the task, I will make them uh, continue, uh, increase their mood just a little bit. Wait, who's going down today? No! I don't want Jessica Rabbit to go down! This explains why my sims always die moon gazing. That is, that is the, uh, the death chance. Not Yzma. If Yzma passes away, everybody's going to be upset because she is just... She's rising to be a new fan favorite. I am adoring Yzma. I don't want Yzma to go. I want Yzma to win because, well, she's just been too much fun. Oh, come on. It's almost going to be daytime. You guys are really going to make me, make me reset the clocks? Blair Thatcher? No, no. Oops. I'm going to make your stuff go up just a little bit, just enough to moon gaze again. Keep going. Come on. You can do it. Keep going. Turn around. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, not in a circle. Okay. All right. Come on, ladies. Somebody catch a meteor. Eliza, you have a job. I'm going to need you to quit that. Come on. One of you has to spot a meteor here soon. Come on. The sun's coming up. Come on, Eliza, get back to work. Only in the available at night. Dang it! All right, we'll quit your job. 
All right, hold on, hold on. I got to move the time forward. MC Cheats, change world time. Okay, I want it to be dark again. So what? 12, 15, 15 some hours move forward. There, that should put us back at nighttime. <gasps> no, Blair! <sighs> Fill the household needs. Guys, Blair has a meteor coming her way. Oh, Blair, no. Oh, wait, I need to tell the other girls to stop. Everybody else, stop. Everybody else? Oh, wait, no, they're all going to stop anyways because Blair's going down. Blair. I don't know where it's going to be coming from, but they're all stopping to witness Blair go down. They're acting as if she's already gone. The meteor is still in the sky. Blair's just dancing around like she doesn't know what's happening. Everybody around her is just crying, though. Here it comes! Oh no, Blair! No! Oh, Blair! Also, that music was perfect timing, Kitsune. Thank you for that. Oh no, Blair! Oh my goodness! Blair, I'm sorry, honey. I love you so much, but I'm just happy it wasn't Yzma or Jessica Rabbit or Bone Hilda. They're, they're my faves. I'm so sorry, Blair. Is Chad even here? Where's Chad at? Where's Chad? Chad is just chilling. He doesn't even know he's lost a lady. Oh, Blair. All right, is death going to show up? Like, it's taking a little long. I'm going to start by getting rid of the telescope so no one else messes with them. Uh, is death not coming? Hello? Death. Grim. Grimothy. All right, I don't think he's coming, so here's what we're going to do. So sorry. So sorry, you guys. Getting rid of all the sad emotes. We will not have any sad babies. Thank you. Chad didn't even know she was gone. Uh, but where did her gravestone go is the question. Where did Blair's gravestone go? Here it is, in the inventory. Blair is second to go. Fabuloso first, Blair second. Two ladies down, maybe two more to go tonight still. We have two more ladies that still need to go down. All right, let me go ahead and save, and then we're gonna be moving on to the next risk challenge. So let me see. Hmm. Which one do I want to do? <laughs> um, <clears throat> let's see. We are going to do a swimming challenge. No, yes. No, yes. Should I? Mm, from where to where, though, is the question. Not around the island. It's got to be a place that all start off and have to get to at the same time. I think we'll have all the ladies go here. Oh, wait. I have the door locked. So we're going to unlock it for a second. We're gonna see who swims the fastest. No, do I really wanna do it like this? Do I wanna do it like this? Yeah, we'll try it. <laughs> I've done it before. 
It's just been a minute. So we're gonna have them all meet up over here. All the ladies, come on in. Uh, Bone Hilda, could you stop glitching out? <laughs> Uh-oh. Not everybody's still in a group. Hold on. Right, I had it right here. Okay. Um. Action, disband group, actions. Um, form a group with all our lovely ladies here. Nope, not Chad. There. Now let's have them all run over here. I can't be All right, is everybody gonna go? Everybody going? Jessica Rabbit, yep, yeah. Bone Hilda. Barbie, Elsa, El Eliza, Chloe, everybody's heading out. Jessica Rabbit and Isma, it's time to go. Come on, ladies. Everybody. Fine, I'm gonna teleport you there since you guys are so lazy. Bone Hilda, your outfit is killing me. All right, Jessica Rabbit and. Oh my gosh. And Yzma, apparently they don't want to waste their stamina, you know? So they, they're going to prefer to be teleported on over here. Apparently they might need reset. All right, now let's try that. Teleport. Teleport. There we go. Well, maybe not Yzma still. Yzma. Okay, go take two steps forward. All right, perfect. Now get over here. All right, there we go. And I'm going to put everybody in their swimsuits. That way everybody's at the same, you know, starting point for clothing-wise. So that's not an advantage. We're going to put in her swimsuit. And I don't know if Bone Hilda is in her swimsuit or not. I'm going to put her in her swimsuit uh, just in case. Nope. Change outfit to swimsuit. Bone Hilda. Change outfit to her swimsuit. And she actually already is in her swimsuit, so that works out pretty nicely. All right, I'm gonna line all the ladies up here on the beach and then I'm going to go tell them all to swim to the other side of the beach at the exact same time. So I want everybody to be in a Decently straight line. We'll have Yzma line up first. Do I have autonomy off? Right? Yes, okay. Autonomy is off, so they won't go and do anything else until I tell them to. I want Bone Hilda here. And I'm gonna line it up as straight as I can. No one throw complaints about if it's perfect or not. I'm trying to make it as good as I can. There you go, and Chloe. All right, so everybody is lined up in as straight as line as I can manage. All right, so now I'm gonna have Chloe instruct everyone to go swim or to go over here. So they're gonna have to swim. Now the path they choose to get there is all their own. I'm looking for the sim that touches that beach first. And I'm looking for the sim that touches the beach last. That'll be our winner and our loser that I am looking for. And those of you that are watching on TikTok, I am also live on Twitch. Oh my gosh, they're, I thought they would start swimming from there. But they're taking a different strategy. Oh, Yzma's in front. Yzma's in front. For those of you that are watching on Twitch, I'm also live. I'm sorry. For those of you watching me on TikTok, I'm also live on Twitch, so you can go check me out at Twitch at HeyShmady. If you'd like to see me stream in the best quality possible, be able to see the full screen, be able to hear the game audio, and be able to see my face. And it looks like Yzma's out in front. <gasps> Yzma and Bone Hilda. Okay, Bone Hilda, why are you stopping? Bone Hilda, why are you turning around? Bone Hilda, where are you going? Yzma! Isma is crushing it. Eliza's not far behind though. Oh god, Bone Hilda just completely gave up. Bone Hilda, why? Oh my gosh, Bone Hilda. Isma, you can do it, honey. Oh, Barbie's going. Barbie's up there. 
Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, Yzma, make it to the beach first. Yes, Yzma, she's gonna touch beach first. And Yzma is the first out of the water. Barbie taking a different path. Could be Elsa, could be Barbie. Oh, but it looks like it's gonna be Eliza, my bad. Looks like it's gonna be Eliza coming in first. Eliza, second place, Barbie with potentially third. And then we got Chloe and Jessica Rabbit out there swimming. Bone Hilda completely just said no. Bone Hilda just said no. She says, I can't and I won't. <laughs> Bone Hilda is afraid of the water. Oh no, Bone Hilda's afraid of water. Oh, Jessica Rabbit does not like fitness in this moment, but Chloe, for some reason, is taking a completely different path and swimming around in a different direction. Jessica Rabbit comes in fourth. And Chloe is coming in fifth, which means Bone Hilda, who apparently is scared of the water. Bone Hilda has a fear from swimming, and Bone Hilda gave up before this challenge even started. <laughs> So that means Bone Hilda is going back to the pit for the third time in a row. Bone Hilda must have a, f a pit fetish. Oh my gosh. So I switched from TikTok to find you on Twitch. I'm dying because you were on my suggestions. Melody, happy that you so you're coming on over to Twitch. Thank you so much. And it reminds me, for those of you that do come to, from TikTok to Twitch, tell me in the comments. That way we can shout you out and welcome you into the community. But like I said, my Twitch is Hey Shmandy, same as my TikTok. And if you want to catch up on any of my Hunger Games challenges, I also have a YouTube uh, called Hey Shmandy, where I post all my previous Hunger Games. So if you're enjoying this challenge, you want to see it from the very beginning, go check out my YouTube at Hey Shmandy. Mandy. But there's a link in my TikTok bio if you'd like to come on over to Twitch as well. But I'm going to tell all the girls to go back to the hut now. Oh gosh. Isma! Isma is still crushing it! Oh wait, but Eliza? Oh, Eliza's like coming for a rebound. She wants... I mean, this is not part of the race anymore at this point, but it is funny. <gasps> Eliza just shoved El oh, Eliza just shoved Isma out of the way. She she pulled her leg back. She said, "No, I will not lose to you again." <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, uh, Chloe and uh, <laughs> Chloe and 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 Jessica Rabbit are not having fun though. All right, Eliza, you don't win anything by being the quickest this time, but it's nice to see you you redeemed yourself a little bit. <laughs> OFC Sky, thank you so much for coming on over to Twitch. Welcome to the chat, sweetheart. Mama and Little Weez, thank you so much for coming on over to Twitch as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, M. Drach, thank you so much for that two-month sub, honey. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Reminder, if you have Amazon Prime, you can hook your Amazon Prime account up to Twitch and you can sub for free to any Twitch streamer that you want, but you have to pick only one a month. Um, but you can sub for free every month. So if you have Amazon Prime, hook it up to your Twitch account and get free subs. Spend your money wisely. All right, Bone Hilda, I'm so sorry for your loss, honey. You are going back to the pit for the third time in a row. Oh, Bone Hilda. But Yzma was the winner. So Yzma gets access to the pit again. I'm sorry. She continues to get access to the winner's hut, which means Yzma is going to come over here and she gets her five uh, flirty interactions started by me. I'm going to go ahead and turn autonomy. Oops, sorry. I'm going to go ahead and turn autonomy back on. And that way my Sims can start taking care of their needs. Oh, and 15 hours from now is when we will let Bone Hilda out. So that will be like at 6 o'clock, roughly at 6 a.m. At 6 a.m. we'll let Bone Hilda out of the pit. At 8 we will get the plate of food out. And at 10 we will start the death challenge over again. So some of you help me. I'm going to need help remembering that. So at 6 a.m. No. Yeah. Not this a.m., the next a.m. Remind me that we'll let Bone Hill out of the pit in 15 sim hours. Yzma, honey, lucky you. You get uh, you get five flirty interactions with Chad again, so saunter your way on up over here. Uh, Frida, thank you so much for the two months in a row prime sub, sweetheart. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, my goodness. 
Thank you so much, Blood, for coming on over. Star, Dee Dee, thank you so much for coming on over to Twitch from TikTok. I really appreciate you being here. Brooklyn, thank you as well. There we go, Yzma. And you're right, all the girls are in, so I'm going to go ahead and lock the gate again. Right, everybody is in the area. Yes, everybody is in. Yzma, Yzma, Yzma wins the hut for the second time in a row. So I will go ahead and get her started on her five flirty interactions with Chad. Um, we always start off with a compliment appearance just to get, uh, just to get the interactions going strong right now. So Yzma <laughs> is going to be flirting it up with Chad. Oh my goodness. Um, and then let's do, uh, let's offer him a rose. Kitsune, thank you so much for getting five subs to the community. If you received a gifted sub from Kitsune, please tell them thank you because we have manners on this challenge and we tell people thank you for giving us nice things. All right. So this will be her second flirty interaction. She's going to be giving him a rose, laying it on strong, Yzma. Um, next flirty interaction. Let's see. What do we want to do here? I don't want to do any of these. I won't do these myself. I will let them decide if they want to do those. I'm going to let that go all the way through. Just because that might change. The Oh, Chad is asking her something. <gasps> no! Oh, apparently he can't. I don't know what he asked her, but apparently he couldn't go through with it. So that is interesting. Let's go ahead and have her do a kiss as her third interaction. And Chad is asking her something again. And she rejected him! And she rejected him! Oh my goodness. Then she's going to pull him in for a passionate kiss. What is that her fourth interaction? We had a compliment appearance, give rose, kiss, passionate kiss. Is that, will that be her fourth one? If she goes through with it. I guess she didn't want to. Yzma, I think Yzma's just turning it down. Yzma, Yzma, you have to do two more interact. We know you have to do one more interaction with him. No. No, 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 no! Yzma, I lied! She's not turning him down, she accepted! Isma accepted this proposition. We have a bush woo woo going on, people. So those of you in the Twitch chat, you know exactly what to do right now. Anytime we get a bush woo woo, we put this special emo in the chat. I can't be. Oh my gosh, neutral! Thank you so much for getting us up too, Amanda. That is so sweet of you. Thank you, honey. Oh my gosh. Yzma and Donna, these notes are coming on over to Twitch from TikTok. Aqua, these notes are coming on over to Twitch. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to make sure I don't miss anybody else here. Blood, Ki Blood Kiki, thank you so much for that prime sub, sweetheart. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Frida, thank you so much again for that uh, two months prime sub. Oh my goodness. Yzma, what have you done? What have you done, Yzma? All right, well, I guess uh, I guess she's done. Oh, wait, but she didn't do that last interaction. <gasps> but Chad is sneaking back off to talk to Eliza. <gasps> what are they going to do? Oh, my God, he is. He's flirts with Isma, and then he runs straight to Eliza. Are you kidding me? Okay, Isma, I want you to do, you have to do, you didn't get, you only had four flirty interactions. So I want you to have just, just one more, just to make sure you get your five. That way no one's upset. Um, 
Just, uh, just do a sexy pose. I don't know. Just so you get your five, your five interactions. Okay. Oh my gosh. Good Lord. Isma, go, go do your one last flirty interaction. Oh, uh, the girls, the girls are doing this so much more interestingly than the guys are. Like, the, we've got more romance, we got more woohoos, we got everything going on. Isma, why are you swimming? I mean, I guess you gotta work on your swimming. Okay, she did, she's doing her flirty interaction in the water, so there you go. She did her sexy pose from behind the reeds. <laughs> he can't even see her! And she did a sexy pose in the water. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save um, just to let my game catch up to itself, but good lord. Buffer Pack, thank you so much for coming on over to Twitch. First time on Twitch just for you. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. I hope you enjoy Twitch. Twitch is really cool. Um, it's kind of like YouTube, but everybody's live. So you get that kind of special interaction between people. Um, so that's always something to consider. Oh, the radio's broken. So everybody's kind of forced to go out and do other stuff. I'm going to let that continue because I find that kind of interesting. This is also your first time with Twitch. Donna, welcome to. All right. So I kind of like this. It forces more people to interact with each other. We got... These two over here having a nice little bonfire. Yzma has decided to go ahead and make herself some food real quick. Bone Hilda already has to pee. Bone Hilda, honey. A Chad Smasher Pass. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna say I gotta smash Chad. I, Chad's an attractive man. He's not somebody I personally would go for in real life. He's not my type in real life. But Chad's attractive. I mean, if I had the chance, I'd smash. <laughs> um, what did I see? What did I see? Neutral, thank you so much for getting a sub. Like I said earlier, thank you for that. I seriously appreciate those. I always like to call those out when I see them. Oh, Bone Hilda, honey. I'm so sorry for you. Eliza, or not Eliza, gosh, I keep saying, I keep mixing their names up. Yzma has gone ahead and made herself eggs and toast for breakfast. She's got to keep that energy up. She's got to stay efficient. She's got to stay ready. Yzma, keeping her uh, moods up. She is ready for this. As for the other girls, it looks like uh, potentially she is feeling embarrassed from her privacy invaded. Oh no, Chad walked in on her when she was trying to go to the bathroom. Chad, you have your own shower. Chad is trying to shower in the ladies' room like it ain't nothing. But Barbie is kicking him out. She's like, dude, I gotta go pee. I don't have time for your seduction. I have to go to the bathroom. That sim girl, thank you so much for gifting us up to Shylock. You guys are being so sweet. I love you guys so much. I love how sweet you guys are for gifting subs to one another. That is like seriously so cute. It's kind of like one of those like pass it on things, you know, like uh like they have they have they have that happen like coffee shops or, or a lot where somebody like gifts a person like their meal or something like that. So that's really cute. I think that's adorable. <laughs> Isma is taking care of her bladder. Bone Pilda has just peed herself. Bone Hilda, why do you insist? upon staying in the pit so much. It's like she wants to be in the pit. She's the only sin that's made it in the pit nonstop. And I feel like we're getting like skeletonist over here, but that's not the case. I want Bone Hilda to succeed. I wanted Bone Hilda to win. I want Bone Hilda to have her chance to shine. And it's not happening. <laughs> I want Bone Hilda to do well. But she keeps, like, failing at every challenge. <laughs> Jessica Rabbit. I thought Jessica Rabbit would do a little bit better, too. But she's not doing as well as I thought she would be. Uh, which I find a little surprising. Oh, <gasps> oh my god! Chad and Eliza! Nani, why are you in the house? 
Oh, did Nani get trapped in our house? Oops. Chad and Eliza cannot be left alone for a minute. Nani, um, I don't know why you're here. Um, I think you may have gotten locked in on accident and couldn't leave. Um, what are my PC specs? If you would like to see my PC specs, I do have an Amazon storefront page where I have all of my, because my husband built my PC. Um, so if you would like to see any of the things that are in my PC build, they are in a um, my TikTok bio in my link tree. Um, just go to my Amazon storefront in my link tree and there is a uh, list with everything that I use for my gaming setup and my PC builds. If you want to check that out, yummy. Or yummy, 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 yummy. <laughs> you can go ahead and do that there. Because my husband built it, so I kind of forget what he all put in it. But if you want to check it out, you're more than willing to. It's on my Amazon storefront in my uh, TikTok link tree. Where is the send away option? <laughs> I need the leave my house option. Like, <laughs> Nani, can you just leave? You have the chance to leave. You're not a part of this house. Just leave, Nani. No problem, Yummy. Nani needs to get home to Lilo. I know, she's just, she should be taking care of Lilo. And here she is. Okay, is she finally leaving the house? Leave. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, now, I don't know how she got locked in here, but apparently she must have got locked in. For everyone, there we go. How we doing over here? Bone Hilda, you doing okay? You doing all right down there? Isma is flirty over here. Oh, but she's taking a nap on the bed. Once again, taking care of all her needs. Um, a couple of the Sims are doing okay. Jessica Rabbit, why can't I click onto my other Sims right now? Up, oh, up, 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 up. I got something breaking. I'm gonna save real quick. Let my game catch up to itself. Isma's elite. <laughs> Nani said, give me a shot at Chad. Nani wants to join the competition? No. We have enough ladies vying for Chad's heart today. Jessica Rabbit not doing that great. She's pretty hungry. Barbie's doing okay. Eliza Pancakes is chilling, sleeping. Chloe's taking advantage of the bet. Chad, uh, you have a bet. He doesn't want to go to bed with Yzma. He is scared to go to bed with Yzma. Also, I don't know if you guys remembered, but Chad and Eliza woohooed in the very beginning of the of the stream. Um, and as you can see, Eliza must not have gotten pregnant because she would have shown by now if she was pregnant. So Eliza didn't get pregnant when she and Chad woohooed. Uh, Yzma, still a little bit of a question with that one, if she got pregnant or not. <laughs> So I don't know. Let me check on the romances. Has anybody else been flirting it up? Yzma has a romantic relationship with Chad. Bone Hilda was in love with Blair, but Blair passed away. No, no. Chad has only got a thing for Yzma and Eliza. Eliza and Chad are going strong, though. They are, they are in love with each other. They are doing pretty okay. Yzma... Head over to there. All right, how are we doing need wise in the pit? I think it's time. Oh, we got two more hours in the pit, Bone Hilda. Two more hours, then I'm going to let you out. And Chad, I need you to come over here and make a meal. I need you to cook something up for the ladies. Because it's about time to put their plates out. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can still put out three plates of food and they'll be all right. Let's just make them a simple fruit salad this time. Nothing too special. Put that drink down. Which reminds you guys, drinks do not fill up hunger. We checked that in the past. If they do fill up hunger, hunger it's like a tick. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to have Chad start on making up the meals so I can put the plates of food out for the ladies. What is Chloe getting a call for? She's taking a nap. Rap dust! I'm so glad you made it on over to 
to Twitch. The quality is so much better. Things look a lot better on Twitch. Things look a lot better on Twitch. TikTok does not look like that great because it's just a recording of my like phone to my computer screen, so it doesn't look that great. But Twitch is a lot better. I promise you, the t- the quality on Twitch is like leaps and bounds better than TikTok. I wish I could do TikTok live through like OBS, but for some reason TikTok won't gre- give me a stream key, even though I have over a hundred thousand followers on TikTok. I still can't get a stream key from them. I don't know why. Isma, she's just having a fun time on the computer. All right. Bone Hill is gonna be let out here in 30 minutes. Chad is still working on food. Bone Hilda, don't worry, honey. It is about your time to get out of that pit. And he is finishing up that meal for the ladies. All right, grab a serving. Now drop that, grab another serving, and drop that, and grab another serving, and drop that. And you can eat that one, Chad. All right, Bone Hilda, it is six o'clock. It's time for you to get out of the pit, sweetheart. You have uh, four hours to take care of all of your needs. Good luck. I'll be putting the food out in two sim hours. So at eight o'clock, food is going out. Hopefully no one else touches this food right here. <laughs> Ladies speak, thank you so much for coming on over to Twitch as well, sweetheart, welcome. And Athena, thank you so much for getting Ragdust a sub. That is so sweet of you, Athena. Ragdust, I'm so glad you finally made it over, sweetheart. Um, OFC Sky, streaming is, is hard to get into. You're not gonna have viewers in the beginning. It, 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 mm. It's hard. It's a lot. It's a lot harder. All you gotta do is you just gotta keep doing it though. My advice is if you guys want to start streaming and playing games on Twitch and streaming, just do it. Just do it. Um, if you can build up a TikTok following, that's pretty helpful too because it's easier to get new uh, to get ex- to get views. Sorry through TikTok. Um, so try and make a TikTok channel, playing some or like show snippets of yourself playing, or try and do some funny things with whatever you're trying to do. Um, and work on getting that platform to come on over. It's just easier to do it that way. Um, but yeah, it's it's hard to start off on Twitch um, because you're you play by yourself and you got to talk to people because the if you, if somebody walks into a stream and they're not talking and they're not engaging, uh, they aren't as likely to stay around. So that's the hard part. So when you start off, you got to talk to nobody. You just got to talk about your day, talk about things, keep it light, keep it happy. Um, that's my best advice I can give you. <laughs> All right, about time to put food out. Yzma, don't grab that food. That is for everybody else. And it is eight o'clock, so let's put the food out. Oh, I came from TikTok, glad to be here. I'm scouting some Sims challenges. Does anyone have a faith? Well, we're playing the Hunger Games challenge and it's a pretty fun one. Um, it's kind of a challenge I made up. Now, the Hunger Games challenge is a, a thing in The Sims, but I don't see anybody playing it how I played it. I kind of made it up with my own rules. So, yeah. <laughs> um, if you'd like to see how I play it, I always have a YouTube channel um, with I have an entire playlist of my Hunger Games series. I've done like... <laughs> You almost made me destroy the toilet. Who did that? A not anonymous jump scare. Somebody about is trying to make me go into labor over here, and it's too early for that. Good lord. Trying to make me go into labor. Oh gosh, Eliza grabbed the first bowl of food, by the way. Barbie snagged up that second one. There is only one bowl of food here left. Bone Hilda. Bone Hilda, please, honey. I am begging you. You can get that last bowl, honey. You can do it today. It's redemption time for you. You need to start taking some wins here. You need to take nope, Jessica Rabbit's got it. Jessica, yep, Jessica Rabbit's got it. Bone Hilda, I'm sorry, but you know what? I can't blame you. I can't blame you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no.
Yes. Um, so next time I'll start, I'll probably start putting out just two plates for the next round uh, when there's only five contestants just to cut that food in half a little bit. Um, so I'll be putting out two plates of food next time for five contestants. All right, but it is death challenge time. And the one that I'm gonna be setting up this time is a pretty, a pre like we do this one at least every time, but I like it. So I'm turning autonomy off, that way they all listen to me. And uh, I'm gonna have them all meet up over here. And I would like everybody to get into the water. Everybody get in the water. Go. Got one, two, three, four. Oh no, Bone Hilda scared of the water. Bone Hilda, don't you dare get out. You stay in here. No, 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 Bone Hilda. Bone Hilda, Bone Hilda, don't. Don't, 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 don't. Bone Hilda. Okay, I'm getting rid of her fear of swimming. Get over here. I can't have you getting out the whole time. That's gonna be a pain in my butt. All right. You're in the water, you're getting in the water, you're in the water, you're in the water. Eliza, get in the water. Chloe, get in the water. Come on, ladies, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. Chloe, stop changing your mind. Okay. And destroy that ladder. Come on in, Chloe, and destroy that ladder. All right. Now the girls cannot get out of the water, and yes, we have tested it many times. They cannot just climb out whenever they want. So we're just gonna let all of these ladies go ahead and swim until one of them goes down. That is what we're doing here today. So I'm gonna put this on speed two. I'm not gonna check anybody's uh, levels because I don't want you guys getting a hint at who's gonna be going first. I like to keep that a surprise. So whoever has the lowest energy is probably going to be the one that goes down first. So playing and taking care of their energy is really important for this one. Bone Hilda may have a chance this time because she prioritized sleeping over hunger. And for this challenge, having sleep is so much more important or being well rested is so much more important than being hungry in this challenge because the tired they are, the first they'll drown. So, we'll see which one goes down today first. Oh no, Bone Hilda! She was just complaining about being tired. No, Bone Hilda! Oh, Bone Hilda and Jessica Rabbit are complaining about being tired. Uh, Isma's complaining about being heartbroken. I don't know what. But girls, come on, honeys. Barbie's complaining about being tired. Isma's complaining. Oh, oh, by the way, if I just dropped my mic. I'm so sorry. <laughs> if if more than one sim were to drown at the same time, I take the notification of the sim that went down first, and then I revive any remaining sims that went after them because I only want one sim to die at a time. So if any if two sims were to drown at the same time, I will take the notification of the sim that went down first, and that'll be the sim that is the one that's counting as passing away for this challenge. Only one sim at a time, otherwise this challenge would go way fast because the drowning one takes a lot of sims if I don't get them out in time. So, we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna put this on speed two and see how we're doing here. You know what I'm gonna do? Actually, no I'm not. I don't wanna do that one because they might back float. I like how these girls are just talking over here. Like this little pack is just doing a little chat together. Oh, Chloe is also cold, though. I wonder if cold will take any of them. I don't think it should. Every girl's complaining about being tired. Yzma's swimming out a little bit, but every sim is complaining about being tired here. They're all tired. I just wonder who's going to go first. Comment in the comments here. Who do you think is going to go first? We got Bone Hilda, Chloe, uh, Eliza, Barbie, Jessica Rabbit, and Yzma. Who do you think is going to go down? Who's going to drown first? I don't know. If I had to place a bet on anybody, I'd say it might be Bone Hilda. I know I was just talking smack saying that she took a nap, but it doesn't seem to have been enough. She was complaining a lot about being tired. And Bone Hilda doesn't like water, so. 
Will Bonehilda finally give up the pit because she's going to go pass away instead? I have no idea. <gasps> no! Jessica Rabbit! No! Okay, hold on. I gotta go ahead and reset everybody's alter needs for the household. All right. Oh no, Jessica Rabbit! No, I wanted her to do well, Jessica! Jessica! <laughs> no! <laughs> Shaky Lakey, thank you so much for that prime sub five months in a row. Thank you, sweetheart, I appreciate you. <laughs> Jessica Rabbit, no, honey. Oh, Chad said, oh no, Chad's angry about that. Jessica. <laughs> oh, never mind. He's happy. I don't know how to read this man. Oh, okay. I don't know how to read him. He was he was angry. Then he was sad. Then he was happy. And now he's crying. I don't know how to read him. But Bone Hilda lives another day. <laughs> I'm so happy for her. Now we're just waiting on Grim Reaper to come take Jessica away. Oh, no. Oh, and she's gone. Okay, I guess Grim must have just, just poofed her out of there. All right, so let me go ahead and put ladders back on the pool. That way all the girls can get out. Um, all right, I need ladders. Ladders, ladders, ladders. That way all my ladies can escape, finally. How many ladies do we have left? One, two, three, four, five. Five ladies left? Okay. I already have our next risk challenge in mind then. So this risk challenge will be a very much community based. So let's start with that. Also, I'm gonna cheer all the girls up real quick. No one needs to be fearful here today. No one needs to mourn the loss of Jessica. Y'all weren't that close to begin with. There. All right, I want all the ladies to go ahead and meet up over here. Go ladies, we have a special challenge coming up next. Um, and for those of you that are watching on TikTok, this is now the time that you wanna be watching on Twitch especially, because I'm about to take voter polls over on Twitch. So if you want to vote as to who does better in this challenge, because this is gonna be voter ba- voter ba- voter ba- ba oh God. Voter led, it's gonna be voter led this challenge. So everybody go ahead and meet up over here. So head to Twitch now if you wanna participate in any of the polls and voting and <laughs> how that will go over there. If you wanna say in which sim lives and which sim goes, you're gonna to have to come over here. But be honest with this guys, be honest though. All right, I'm gonna change the weather cause it is winter. I don't need these people freezing out yet. So hold on while I change this. So I'm gonna change the season to the summer. That way they don't get too cold. Uh, Sims sheets, change weather, blah, blah, blah. Sunny, warm. For hundreds of hours. And then I'm gonna make it daytime a little bit just so we can see better. So let's go ahead and put it up like five hours ahead of time. All right, guys, so the challenge that the girls are going to be doing today for the risk challenge, by the way, we're looking for one winner and one loser. That's what we want in this challenge. So we're going to have the girls do a <laughs> we're going to have the girls do a um, a competition. I let me see. Can all the girls do the same trick? Let's have them all do a swan dive. Let's have them all do a swan dive. So I want every girl to show me their best swan dive. Yzma, you are going first. So as Yzma goes, we are gonna go ahead and do a poll on chat. We'll be rating them one out of five. So Yzma, I would like you to go up first. Our queen Yzma has been really doing good in these competitions lately, so I'm here to see what she does. Yzma is going to perform her swan dive. Looks like she's starting off with a confident jump. Let's see how she does. Oh, dang! Oh my gosh, she did so good, she lost her wig. She did so good, she lost her wig! Where did her thing go? She had a hat! Oh my gosh, she died. She lost her clothes. She lost her clothes. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. I need to pull that Twitch poll up for Yzma. Okay, so it is going to be a one out of five, one being poor, five being spectacular. Twitch chat, you guys have one, 60 seconds to go ahead and cast your vote. If you do not see the poll, go ahead and refresh your stream. But she literally dove so well. She dove right out of her clothing and she got hair for some reason. So Yzma, you did great, sweetheart. Go ahead and, and, and swim back to the top, honey. Very proud of you. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and set Bone Hilda up for the next swan dive while I wait for those votes to come in. All right, we're going to stop her here. All right, what is Twitch saying about Yzma's dive? Looks like a large majority of people are saying five. Also, we have a high vote for two. So Yzma probably gonna end up with a five here. And any of my mods in my chat, please help me remember the numbers that you guys are giving everybody. So Yzma, it's looking like she gets a five for her jump. So Yzma is gonna be getting a five for her jump. All right, next one we'll be looking at here is Bone Hilda. Bone Hilda up for her swan dive. Let's see how she does, guys. Honestly, just as good as Yzma. I'd say the form was all there, but Bonehilda kept her close. Bonehilda kept her close. So that is a difference that she did in between Yzma. So is Bonehilda staying clothed make her better or worse than Yzma? So how would you guys rate her? One out of five. Um, so for Bone Hilda, one out of five. The fact that she kept her clothes on, does that make her better or worse than Yzma? For a reminder, any of them that have ties, um, in the end, we will go ahead and do and make them do another jump to compete against the other person. So I'm going to have her go over here. So far, Yzma scored a perfect five. Bone Hilda, we will see what her score is here in the next 30 seconds. You guys have 30 seconds to continue your votes. Reminder, for any of you that want to place the votes for which character you think did the best, you have to be on Twitch to go ahead for your vote to count. So, oh God, Yzma. <laughs> Yzma, she, she splashed and she gained hair somehow. I don't know. But so let me know. Uh, looks like we got a couple more seconds left. It looks like Bone Hilda might also be getting a five. What is chat saying? Lids, thank you so much for that sub, by the way. And Bone Hilda also scores a five. So Yzma and Bone Hilda are tied for now. Next up is Barbie. Barbie, let's go ahead and see your swan dive. I hope there's some varying level in the dives. It would suck if they all did the same. All right, Barbie. And they all are crushing the swan dive. I don't know how to feel about that. They're all doing the same. But what do we think? This is your guys' votes, though. This is your vote. So if you feel Barbie didn't switch it up enough, maybe she just didn't deliver as much as we wanted, that's for you guys to say. That's for you guys to say. So Barbie poll's been put up, so go ahead and tell me how you feel Barbie did. Maybe Barbie's playing it safe. There, she copied what the others have done. Um, Cause you know, there, there's two that have gone ahead of her. Yzma and Bonehilda in their rights did change things up. Yzma lost clothing, Bonehilda kept clothing. Barbie kept her clothing, so we'll see. I feel like Barbie could have done better. I feel like Barbie with her athletic abilities could have thrown a flip in there. I feel like she played it a little safe to be honest. Um, so yeah, Barbie has more athletic ability than most of the other girls. She's been working out this whole time, so I feel like she could have done more. I feel like she could have done more. But that's my opinion. That's my opinion. But you guys are the ones voting, so I ain't gonna say nothing. Oh, wait, no, 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 I told Eliza just to jump. No, 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 Eliza, no, 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 stop. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and you guys have voted Barbie at a four, which I think is fair. That's what I would have probably gave her because she played it safe and with her athletic ability, I feel like she could have done better. Next up, we have Eliza. What's Eliza gonna do for us here? 
They're all doing it the same. I feel like we're gonna have to switch things up here. I feel like I'm gonna have to have some of them go ahead and do differently. But once again, I'm gonna let you guys vote on how you feel Eliza did. Um, maybe the, these boats aren't on, <laughs> on how they did alone. Maybe they're also on, you know, just how you feel about the character in the moment. <laughs> Oh my goodness, they're all being copycats. I want something different. Chloe, give me something here. Maybe we need an obvious loser. I just might need an obvious loser. But if they're all so tied on their jumps, I may have them jump a, a different way in a different style. Maybe the next time I'll have them do backflips. Just to see if I can get some variety going in here. Chloe, why aren't you moving? Are you getting cold feet? There you go. So, but Chloe's gonna do a swan dive too. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if she gives us any variety here. If she does the same jump, I don't know how to feel. And everybody's saying Eliza did a three. It's definitely a three. So Eliza's getting a three so far. Not the lowest scores. Well, I guess it is the lowest score so far. Um, but we'll see. It's time for Chloe, though. If Chloe gives us the same backflip, like if they all do the same back, back or the same flip or same swan dive, then I might try have them try again. Are you kidding me? That's it. They're all doing a backflip now. They've all pulled out the same dive. Chloe, we're not even going to vote on... <laughs> I have to see everybody do something different. We got to try this again. I have to try this again. All right, Yzma. Give me something new. And we'll vote on the end. Yzma lining up for the backflip and... A pretty decent execution. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I'm going to save the poll till the end this time. This time we're going to vote on who you liked better. So, Yzma with the backflip. Bone Hilda, it is your turn. Open, oh, she's scared already. Bone Hilda is scared already. So, I'm going to save the poll for the end. And this time in the poll, we're going to vote on who is your favorite. Your favorite presentation. All right, Bone Hilda lining up. And Bone Hilda with the backflip. Yzma, get out of the way. Dang it, just the same. Oh, don't do it all the same for me, girls. I can't handle this if we all do it the same. Maybe I should have just told him to jump. <laughs> all right, Barbie up for her attempt. And Barbie with the backflip. The same. Good Lord. I have never seen so many Sims execute this perfectly. Are they all going to execute this perfectly? This is bull. Usually I have so many more failures. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Are they all just backflip queens? Why are they all so good at this? This is... Mm. <gasps> Chloe, did I tell her to? <gasps> that wasn't a backflip, Chloe. Chloe failed on the backflip, and she knows it too. See, this is what I mean by we had a failure finally. I think that's that's news for Chloe to go in the pit. I think she was the only person that didn't pull off a backflip. So I'm going to say Chloe gets the pit. That's the only failure we had. So she's the only loser here that I can say. So Chloe, sweetheart, I'm, I'm sorry to do this to you, but we got a new person in the pit. As for who is going to be going into the winner's hut, I'm going to go ahead and have the girls all do a jump. I'm going to have them all do a jump and see if they change up their style. Let's have them all do one jump. This is their own, uh, that's boring. You know what, I'm just gonna have you guys pull. <laughs> Who do you guys think deserves the winner's hut? 
Does Yzma go back for her, what, third time in a row? Does Bonehilda get her first shot in the winner's hut after being in the pit for so oh, long? God. Or does no, Eliza get to go back no, into no. the hut? No! So, here you go, guys. Now's your time to vote. What do you think? Negan, I know it's your girl. I know it's your girl, Chloe, but you don't have to throw a fit over it, okay? So, who do you guys think should go in the winner's hut? Yzma did lose her clothes. She was more dedicated. She was more dedicated. So, there's that. But, I mean, Bone Hilda. <laughs> Bone Hilda. <laughs> oh, what's Twitch saying? Twitch has got a, probably about 25 more seconds to cast in their votes. Bone Hilda deserves it. Bone Hilda, I mean, she spent so many nights in the pit. She spent so, and Bone Hilda gets the, <laughs> Bone Hilda, honey, you're going to get the winner's hut, sweetheart. It's your time. Bone Hilda, I'm so happy for you. You get to feel the life of luxury. This is finally Bone Hilda's moment. Uh, all right, and she gets five flirty interactions with Chad. I'm going to go ahead and turn gain up autonomy on. That way other sims can start taking care of their needs. And Chloe got the pit. I'm so sorry, Chloe. So let's see. Um, so at three, 3 p.m., we're going to go at, no, 3 a.m.? We're going to go ahead and let Chloe out of the pit. 5 o'clock, we'll put food down. And 7 o'clock, next death challenge. Break. All right, so we'll see. What is Bone Hilda is going... How will Bone Hilda start her moment with Chad? How will this go? He's already in a flirty mood. Bone Hilda, welcome to the winner's hut. You've never known such luxury. So let's go ahead and have her just throw in a flirty pickup line with Chad. And he is in a flirty mood, so this should go well by all accounts. So she's going to throw in a flirt. She's throwing in that teethy smile that we know she has. Chad, being the, the man whore he is, uh, is really into Bone Hilda, of course. She's still complimenting his smile. She's feeling steamy. Bone Hilda's feeling steamy. She is enjoying her first moments out in the sun. Bone Hilda, why don't you go ahead and um, let's let's have you uh, let's have you kiss his hands, kiss his hands, Bone Hilda. Give him a little taste of what those those beautiful teeth feel like against his skin. This is her third interaction, her third romance interaction. She's got two left that I control. Um, okay, so let's have her... Oh my gosh, a first kiss moment. Let's have her do a first kiss. She already has that first kiss available. Chad is just crumbling like butter in between her bony fingers. So let's set up a first kiss. Chad, stop talking to her about your writing goals. I need you to have a kiss with Bone Hilda. I think he's shocked. He's a little shocked about what's happening. But I think he's okay with it. I think he's having a good time. And, uh, yeah, he's like, that was a kiss. It was a little weird, but I think it honestly turns him on. And I think he's into that. Yeah, he's into it. Yeah, he 100% is into that. <laughs> All right, and her last, uh... Flirty interaction with him will be a whisper in his ear. And that will be the last thing that I can control her do. So my hands are now off the controls. I am not in charge of what they do after this, no. <gasps> what? This is not what I was expecting. Blair Thatcher is a ghost, by the way. 
Blair Thatcher wants to take things to the next level. Will Bone Hilda be her girlfriend? What is happening? <laughs> Blair, you're dead. Blair, you are no longer with the living. Why are you here? <laughs> Do I say yes? Do I say yes? Or do I say no? Um, I mean, it's not gonna stop her from getting with Chad. No way, okay, I think most of you are saying no. We're gonna do no way. She is gone, she is dearly departed. Blair, get out of here. Blair, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Also, I feel like I forgot to put uh, somebody's gravestone below the ground. I feel like I forgot to put Jessica Rabbit's down there. So let me see. Where is Jessica Rabbit's grave? There it is. Okay. Jessica Rabbit, I forgot. I have to add your grave here. <laughs> Sorry, honey. All right. Let me go ahead and take all the sad emotions away from everybody else who is continuing to mourn Jessica's grave. There we go. All right, I'm gonna also go ahead and save real quick. I don't know. Um, but all right, so we're gonna have one more death challenge tonight. So only one more sim is gonna go down tonight, guys. And then I'll be cutting the stream short. Uh, well, not cutting it short. I'll be ending it after this last death challenge. So tune in, guys. Who do you think the last one to go down will be today? Isma, I really hope you put some clothes on soon, honey. Do you think Bone Hilda or Yzma or Barbie or Eliza or Chloe will be going down as the last sim for today? I will be streaming again tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with the finale of this challenge. So if you're interested and you don't want to miss it, please go ahead and follow me on the Discord on Twitch um, where you can see my schedule and you'll always know when I'm streaming for the week. Check me out on any of those platforms. Um, there's a link in my TikTok bio that will take you to any of my platforms. So if you're interested in looking over there. Also, my mods have all my links for those of you that want to join the Discord on the Twitch. Um, I post updates over there. So what do you guys think? We have one more challenge left tonight. And then I will hold off the rest of the finale till tomorrow. Barbie's going to go. Barbie's got to go. Chad is over here on the treadmill working out. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward time just so we can get ready for that next death challenge. What's happening, anybody? I'm curious, what does Bone Hilda do? What does Bone Hilda want to do with her free time? She's here, she's out of the pit, she's free. I really kind of want to follow Bone Hilda and see what she chooses to do with her time. Take a little dip in the. Oh gosh, she's fast. We got a lot of the girls talking over here in the corner. Bone Hilda, do not be afraid. Don't be afraid to interact with the other girls. Go form some alliances, baby. Have fun. Do your thing. Bone Hilda, if you're scared of water, why do you keep swimming across it? I hate that so much for her. And no matter how much I get rid of it, she still is scared of it. Come on, Bone Hilda, go do something. I want to know what you do with your free time. Um, if you want Bone Hilda, uh, you do have to have the Paranormal Pack. Um, but if you want Bone Hilda, you do have to have the Paranormal Pack. Um, but once you have the Paranormal Pack, you can just get her off the gallery. Um, just search Bone Hilda on the gallery, and you can download her into your game if you want. Um, but there is ways if you have the paranormal pack to like summon her with the seance table. It's a whole process. But if you just want to have Bone Hilda in your game, you do need the paranormal pack to have her. But she is on the gallery. Isma, are you going to put clothes on at any point? You're becoming the new Chloe. I guess we know also how Chloe lost her clothes the last time. Chloe, how you doing in the pit, honey? You doing okay down there? Seems to be taking it pretty all right. I know it smells down there. Bone Hilda's peed herself a, a many a time down in the pit, honey. 
So I don't know what to tell you about that one. On hell is <laughs> Isma. No one is flirting it up with Chad. <gasps> bon Hilda, yes, take your moment, honey. Where'd you go? I'll be right now, Bon Hilda. Bon Hilda, I know you're a maid, but you don't have to clean right now. You can enjoy yourself, sweetheart. You you don't have to do that. Go go take care of your needs, Bon Hilda. You're hungry. Go 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 eat something. You can do that. Like, I don't know if you knew that, but you can do that. <gasps> She's gonna go eat something. She's gonna go have the cake Chad made. Yes, Bone Hilda, eat that cake! You deserve that cake! Maybe it'll help give you a cake. Oh, Bone Hilda, I'm so proud of you for eating something, sweetheart. But Chad left. I don't know why they don't just use the sink in the, in the hut. Like, they have that hut. Chloe is a really pretty sim. Thank you. Uh, she's one of the sims I've made, obviously. Um, but she's on my gallery if you guys want her. Chloe Wheeler is on my gallery. Yzma's on my gallery. <laughs> Bone Hilda's on my gallery. Barbie's on my gallery. Eliza's on my gallery, like my version of her. Like all of these sims are sims that are on my gallery. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're all on my gallery. Have your cake and eat it too, baby. Oh, Elida is doing some botanical work. Trimming up the bush. Maybe she thinks that'll help her with the next thing. I don't know. It's nice to see you try, though, honey. Yzma, do anything else. Oh, wait. Somebody... Either she's planning on talking to Chad or Chad's going to talk to her. I don't want to cancel their interaction because I want to see what she does. Uh, I canceled it for her because Chad got spooked by Barbie. Barbie sabotaged! Disappointed. Let's go ahead and turn on the music, though. What are you asking him, Eliza? I don't even want to know. Why is everybody kicking out Barbie? Oh, but you can go pee in front of him? He doesn't have to get... Nope, apparently he does not have to get kicked out. She's comfortable with him around now. Chad is going to go on the golden throne, though. Don Hilda, you can do something with your life, honey. Go and enjoy yourself. But you know what? Who's to say that she's not? I guess who's to say Bone Hilda is not enjoying herself? She is just taking in this room. She is just thinking about all life's accomplishments. She's thinking about everything she missed out on in the pit, and she's just enjoying her time here. <gasps> she's going to go talk to Chad. What about? What about? Ooh, she's getting a little flirty. She's getting a little flirty. Maybe she... Oh, but he's complaining about the trash on the ground, so that's not... It. Mm. Come on, Bone Hilda. You, you got cash? You're going to talk to him about cash right now? Come on. Oh, she's mopping the puddle because he said he thought there was trashy in here. And now he's running away. But Bone Hilda is still mopping that puddle. Really? You're going to take advantage of the Bone Hilda maid right now? She's, she's so embarrassed she's just leaving. Oh, no, actually, she's going to go continue mopping in the other house. Chad. Uh, take care of Bone Hilda. She's going to miss that experience in the hut. Oh, my gosh. Barbie and Eliza are out here having a little bit of a bond. <gasps> Chad, once again, coming up to kiss Eliza. Eliza, pancakes. There is something about that girl. She has a hold on Chad. If there is one girl that Chad dotes on more than anybody, it's Eliza. He is head over heels for her. He loves her. Like, him and, and Yzma have also woohooed, but he does not kiss Yzma like that. He only goes after Eliza. Speaking of Yzma, Yzma is sleeping nude in the bed, it looks like. Bone Hilda, <gasps> yes, baby girl, take advantage of that good, good sleep, honey. Take advantage of that good, good sleep, sweetheart. You deserve it. You deserve it, sweetie. Proud of you. Barbie is going ahead and take advantage of taking that nap on the couch. Eliza is swimming instead. Don't know why. And Chloe is about to piss herself in the pu in in the pit. <laughs> How do you get all the options? Um, I have the cheat, debug cheats allowed, I think. Something about, there's a cheat about that. I have it turned on. 
What is the cheat? I have it enabled at all times through MC Command Center, but it's a cheat that you have in game. Gameplay. No, it's not that. It's gameplay setting. It's not that. What is it? MC Command Center settings, notification, console menu, console command settings, debug commands in cheats. So I have the debug commands in cheats enabled at all times. So there must be a cheat about debug commands. I just have it turned on at all times due to MC Command Center. But I don't think you need to have it, MC Command Center, to type in that cheat. You just have to know what the cheat is to type it in every time you want to use it. It's not necessarily a part of MC Command Center, but I do have it turned on at all times through MC Command Center. Eliza, are you going to use that hot tub to sleep? Nope, no, you're not. Um, I said I think Chloe would be out of the pit at three. So, Chloe, it is finally time you are out of the pit, sweetheart. And you know what? Do we have enough cake slices? We do. All right, then I'm going to put the cake out for the girls. Um, but I'm going to let Chad and Bone Hilda enjoy their moment sleeping together a little bit. Eh. Eh. Mm, sorry. <laughs> I got to stretch my back out a little bit. We're starting to get a little bit of a backache. Barbie is sleeping instead. I think she's trying to make sure she stays up for that food, which I'm going to be putting out here at 5 o'clock. So we got about an hour and a half until I mess with that. Chloe is taking a shower right away <laughs> because she is tired of that. Oh, now what is Chloe going to do? Oh, Chloe, I don't think back floating in your state is a good is a good choice. I, I don't think you should do that. I personally think that would be a bad decision. All right, Chad, I need you to take out three pieces of cake so I can go ahead and put the... No, two pieces of cake. Just two. That's right. We only want two pieces this time. All right, drop that. And take another piece. And drop that as well. All right, I got my two plate pieces of food that I'm going to put out for the girls. I did forget almost that we have half the people, so I'm cutting down the amount of plates that we take out to the girls. So... Only four, five girls, only two plates go out. <laughs> Chad, you can go ahead and clean that up for me, though. The only semi control is Chad, just because I don't like to influence what the other girls do. All right, I'm going to speed things up until 5 o'clock. And it's about 5 o'clock, so I'm going to go ahead and put plates out. It's first come, first served, as always. I don't, oh, what happened to that? Okay, there it is. I don't check who's near. I say food goes out at the time, and that's the time I put it out. So I got two plates out on the on the counter. First come, first serve. Barbie is the only one conscious. Well, actually, Chloe is, but she's swimming at this point. Um, so Barbie, she might be the only one that gets a chance to grab the food. <gasps> Eliza's waking up. She is stirring. She is ready to go snatch that plate up. Will Barbie and Eliza be the two to take the plates? Ooh. Oh, I thought Eliza or Yzma was waking up, but she's not. Come on, ladies. You guys have two hours at 7 o'clock. Death challenge starts whether you guys are ready or not. Yep, Eliza, first one to grab that cake. Barbie, second one. Barbie and Eliza, they don't miss many meals. Yzma, I'm sorry, honey. You are two seconds too late. If you had just gotten up a little bit sooner... All of that could have been yours. Also, I'm going to tell you to put some clothing on at this point, Yzma. Like, you, you, it's time. It's time for some clothing. Don't give me that look. All right, at 7 o'clock, I'm going to start up the next death challenge. And uh, I'm not sure who's going to win this one. Let me see. Hmm, 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 hmm. You know what? We haven't done that one. We have not done that one yet. I think I have. Uh, I know what we're about to do. I know what we're going to do, guys. And I will take each sim as they are. What they decide to do is what they decide to do. 
But I'm going to go ahead and set that up right at 7 o'clock for The Sims. All right. I need all ladies to gather over here. I'm going to go ahead and form a group so they can gather over here for me. Actions form a group with the remaining ladies left. Everybody come stand over here, please. It is time for the next death challenge. Maybe odds be ever in your favor, guys. This is the time. This is the time where we decide who is the last lady standing for the end of this challenge tonight, guys. This is the last challenge for the night. I will continue. Oh, hold on. I didn't turn autonomy off. Off. This will be the last death challenge for the night. The finale will be head tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you have been enjoying yourself, please go ahead to leave a follow to show how much you've enjoyed this. And be here at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow if you would like to see the results um, and who wins Chad's heart in the end. All right. I'm going to pen all these girls off. So we have all the girls in here. I'm going to turn autonomy back on because I want them to be able to change and do whatever they need to do for this challenge. So this is one we didn't do the last time with the guys. I'm trying to do some different ones just so it's different in between these. I'm going to go ahead and change the... Where is the weather? Seasons cheats. Change the season to winter. Seasons cheats. Solani cheats. Nope, sorry. Seasons cheats. Change weather to. Oh, which is the one I want to do? <laughs> Snowstorm for a hundred sim hours. All right, they have the option to change into whatever clothing they want. I don't know what outfit Bone Hilda is wearing right now. Chloe and Eliza could be in trouble because they're in their swimsuits. Barbie may be okay. She's in athletic wear. Eliza is in everyday wear. If they want to change their outfits, they can. But if they don't change their outfits to something warmer, they are going to freeze. So the first sim to get the notification that they are freezing to death... It's going to be the sim that goes down. <laughs> Any sim that dies after the first sim, I'm going to be reviving them. So don't worry. It'll be the first sim that goes down is the one that's down. So we'll see how long this takes, but it shouldn't take too long, I don't think. Uh, Barbie's arguing with Eliza about how cold it is right now. <laughs> that's it. How are they? They seem to be doing okay so far. Barbie's freaking out about the snow. She's freaking out a little bit about it. Chloe is pretty tired. Could be an advantage to pass out in this one. Because if a sim passes out, they might pass out long enough that they don't, like, you know, go down. Oh, it looks like our bills are... Our bills need paid. So, Chad, do you mind, like, paying the bills real quick? And they're all cursing about the snow. <laughs> they're not happy about it. Barbie is complaining about the snow. She's not having a good time. She is not enjoying this at all. I'm sorry, Barbie, that you don't like it, but you guys could change to your cold weather outfits. Sims have no, like, ways to survive. Like, they, 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 the simple thing here is that they could just change into their outerwear, and they would be fine. Oh, Chloe passed out. Barbie is complaining about sleep, but Chloe is out. That might save her maybe a little bit. I don't know how that'll play out. Could be a strategy. Does Bone Hilda feel cold? I don't know. I don't know if Bone Hilda ever gets cold. That'll be interesting to see. I'm really curious about Chloe and, and Elsa because, or not Elsa, gosh, Eliza, because they're the only two in their swimsuits. I guess I don't know. Oh, Barbie peed on herself. Will that make her colder faster? Will that make her colder faster? I don't know. Um, but in the pit, by the way, for those of you that are just jumping in, we have Yzma from Cusco's News Groove. We have Barbie, who is Barbie 
Dahl, Barbie Mattel, Bobby Roberts. We have Bone Hilda. We have Chloe Wheeler, who's one of my personal Sims. And we have Eliza Pancakes. Those are all of the Sims competing right now. They still seem to be doing okay. Which is a little shocking. Chloe is passing out again. Bone Hilda is getting awfully stinky. Barbie is a mess because she peed on herself. But they're all feeling pretty chilly, right? Why am I out here in the middle of a blizzard? I'm mainly complaining about that. I don't know what's going to happen here. I have things fast forwarded. I would have think I would have thought they would have got cold by now. Come on, one of them's got to turn blue. Barbie is slipping on herself over here. Come on, ladies, somebody's got to go. Somebody's got to go. Why don't they just change? I don't know, because Sims don't have a, a reason to survive. The autonomy is on. They can do what they want. But they don't choose to put, like, warmer clothes on, which is, I can't save them if they don't do that. My wife just said, who the fuck is Bone Hilda? Bone Hilda's a very special lady. We love Bone Hilda. She is in The Sims. And Chloe is passing out again. <gasps> Eliza is freezing to death! Eliza has turned blue. Is Eliza going to go down first? Barbie and Bone Hilda are also complaining about freezing to death, but who is going to be the one that goes down? Eliza just peed on herself. Is she peeing on herself to get warmer or is she peeing on herself to just take her out of her misery? I would think. <gasps> and Chloe is freezing? Oh gosh. Come on, one of you's gotta drop first. One of you's gotta drop first. Who's gonna be the first to drop from the cold? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Eliza, is she out of her cold? Is she out of her cold snap? What are her traits? She's got nothing on her that would stop her from passing away, but she stopped being cold all of a sudden. Did peeing on herself save her? I'm confused. Her pee must have warmed her up. I don't know. I didn't know if that's a thing in The Sims. Now Yzma's freezing to death. Oh my gosh. Come on, one of you's gotta drop soon. One of you guys drop. Who's gonna drop? I don't know how Eliza saved herself. I really don't. She was the first to turn blue, but now she's the- <gasps> Barbie's down! Barbie's down! No! Oh god, okay, 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 hold on. Let me go ahead and cheat and change their clothing. Change outfit, warm weather. Change outfit, warm weather. I don't want any of the rest of them dropping, but Barbie just got the death notification. Bone Hilda, it doesn't look like you changed, but apparently that's your warm weather outfit, and that makes a difference for you. Uh, dresser. I don't know how Eliza did it. Peeing on herself literally must have saved herself. I don't know how Eliza did it, but she saved herself. All for the love of Chad. Her man. But Barbie is down no <laughs> barbie i mean barbie you were a pretty quiet character you weren't too good you weren't too bad you didn't really stick out much to be honest oh and she fell right into eliza barbie i'm so sorry sweetheart all the rest of the girls are doing okay now though because we went ahead and took care of their emotions I'm also going to go ahead and change the weather back to summer. Seasons change weather to sunny warm. For 100 some hours. And then change the seasons cheat. Oops, not weather. Change season to the summer. There. So it should be warming back up here again soon, but Barbie's gone. Barbie's done -zos. <laughs> I'm so sorry for all of you who really wanted Barbie to win. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry, Barbie. Graham, thank you for coming at a, at a decent time this time. 
No! No, 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 Chloe, no! I'm gonna revive Chloe, don't worry about her. I am sorry about Chloe, that was not meant to happen. I, she was in her warm outfit, I don't know why she went down like that. So ignore that <laughs> from Chloe. <laughs> That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> that one doesn't count. Don't worry about her. She, she's going to be fine. Don't worry about Chloe. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. I'll be bringing her back. <laughs> oh my goodness. Chloe. Why are you always like this? Why do you always cause the drama? I'm sorry about <laughs> Amanda, we have a guide to guide the raid redeem from Negan. Okay, uh, Negan, when we end this stream, let me know who you want to guide the raid to, okay? Um, I'll let Negan pick who we get the raid from then. Thank you so much, Athena, for pointing that out to me, honey. Uh, come on, Grim Reaper, so I can revive her. All right, go ahead. Let's call forth her ghost here. Chloe, why did you have to be the drama? Why are you always the drama? Eliza, no! <laughs> Eliza's freezing to death, too, now. Okay, sim commands, uh, maintain sim, revive sim. Got it. And add her back into the family. Stop saying you guys are cold. You have your warm weather stuff. Everybody get in the house. Get in the house. Get in the house where it's nice and warm. I'm done with all this bull malarkey of you guys freezing. You guys are fine. Everybody is fine. Everybody's fine. We're all fine. One, two, three, four, five sims. Yep, good. All right. <laughs> now that Chloe's back, I'm going to go ahead and destroy her grave. And we're going to go ahead and put uh, Barbie underneath with everybody else. So we started this challenge off with eight beautiful women. We lost Fabuloso first, then Blair Thatcher, followed by Jessica Rabbit, and now we lost Barbie Doll. We still have Eliza Pancakes, Yzma, Bone Hilda, and Chloe Wheeler. We still have all of these lovely ladies here to compete. Tomorrow I'll be going live at 7 p.m., so do not miss that if you would like to continue this challenge and uh see who's the winner tomorrow so please go ahead and leave a follow and a like if you've enjoyed yourself my youtube is hey Schmandy. if you want to catch up on all other seasons of hunger games in the meantime i think i have like 10 11 like 12 seasons of hunger games on my youtube channel my youtube channel is hey Schmandy. same as twitch same as tiktok follow me all over there um so we're gonna go ahead and do a raid over on twitch thank you all of you that are on tiktok that have enjoyed me and had a wonderful time with this challenge. I'll see you guys all next time. I love you. Goodbye, guys.